Maniac! Hello there. How are you doing? Good, good. Great. I'll be right with you guys. doing good a little bit tired didn't really sleep much tonight again but i did sleep more than on tuesday <laughs> ah i wish dm put traps in my room well since i'm the dm i put the traps in my room <laughs> now nah, i just have to bring the bottles back to like the bottle box just didn't do that yet was a bit lazy. <laughs> Wally! Hello there! How are you doing? Welcome, 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 guys. We got Wally over there. He's playing some Eco, a very fun game. We played Eco on stream a couple times ago. Actually, did we actually streamed that? No, we never streamed that. I think I played it like on the Red Circuit server, but I never streamed it because I had this very weird bug <laughs> where my whole interface was inverted. Uh, which was kind of fun. Not quite sure how it happened, but, well, that was a thing. <laughs> and we'll make the same sound if you ever to roll to the right. <laughs> I don't want to judge. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you know, there is like a grocery delivery service. If there would be like a bottle pickup service. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, just come in here. Take them all away. I don't care about them. <laughs> you can keep the money. <laughs> good, 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 good. Let's press the button. Also, I think my voice is a bit rough today. I'm not sure why. Good evening, Twitch. How are you all doing? Welcome back to Factorio. An absolutely magnificent game. And while you've played Eco for a bit, about 1,500 hours on the stream. Oof. <laughs> Furanim, hello there. How are you doing? Let's see, is there any updates? There is the beacon rebalance update. What 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 is <laughs> what do you need as an update? Let's have a look at that. Fixed issue with overlap script lo looking at moved machines when using picker dollies. Okay, we don't really care about that. Increase the crafting time of Mark 2 and Mark 3 beacons. We don't really care about that either. RSO got an update, probably another mod coming in. Uh, extend Industrial Revolution mod support as of version 3. Yeah, we don't really care about these two. What we do care about, and that's definitely something we have to do, uh, go to settings, go to other, enable experimental updates. There we go. And then go back, about, check for updates. Yes, we do want to have the 1.175 button. Absolutely. Wait, that's, wait, what? <laughs> is there a change lock button? Oh, there is a change lock button in here. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Why am I always doing it the other way around? <laughs> that is so much easier. <laughs> well, learn something new today. Well, I, I'm barely in this uh, the, the, in this one over here. Someone in the chat pointed out last time. Really, they did? Dang. Well, so be it. Uh, check for updates again. Update now. There we go. Yeah, I should have probably done that beforehand, but we're doing it live. There we go. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Why 1.175? Because 1.175 is now... Loaders are now compatible with trains. Because Boss Kit <laughs> felt the pain everybody has when he plays Model Factorio and when he plays around with loaders. It goes like, oh, that's why we need loaders and trains. Okay, I'm going to put it in. <laughs> good, 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 good. That will make things so much better and so much easier for us. Let's jump right in. Let's test them out right away. I have, I've tested them with K2SE. They work magnificent over there. 
I've not tested them out yet in Pyanodons, but we will see. We will see. Good. Excellent. I still got some code over here. There we go. <laughs> and he had fun getting rid of your fun. Got kicked out because we blocked the machine for the long. Oof. Oof. Good. Uh, let's hope that we can make some progress today. Uh, but let's do the train thingy first. Let's just make a new train. Let's just check it out by making a new train. We definitely do need a new train either way. Uh, and there's a car over here. Let's make it happen. Good, 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 good. So what did we do last time? Well, last time around, I was kind of tired. <laughs> last time around, I kind of slept only for four hours. Tonight, I slept for six hours. Six hours is enough. Four hours is not enough. So we can at least expect a normal stream for today. But, yeah, I, I don't really think we did anything productive in the base last time. I actually did sit down and wanted to make the recap episode. And I was just like, yeah, this recap episode will be five minutes. I skipped it. <laughs> I'm going to be merging it with the recap episode from today. Um, so, good thing we kind of missed out on that Tuesday recap episode because I was being a little bit stupid. Which also happens every now and then. Good, 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 good. And last night you slept for like four hours and that before around two. Oof. Yeah. I mean, the first week of work, at least the first week of work over here is not too rough. But uh, I, I, I do need to acclim um, acclimate myself a little bit because things are just like... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. These were the things I'm doing. Oh, God. The bug reports are coming again. Oh, no. Please just leave me alone with the shit again. <laughs> or, as you all know, the usual. The usual. Good, let's find our way back. I'm kind of stuck in here. There we go. Um, the last time you did pie, I elected you to sleep for 10 hours. So no idea what you did. Well, uh, on the Tuesday where we were in the stream early to, to like go to bed. Of course, I didn't go to bed. I was just doodling something on my PC and suddenly it was like 3 a.m. And I was sitting there going like, wait, what? No. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> uh, I, I might just have to completely switch around my, my sleep schedule at some point in time. On the, on the upside, though... Oh, we ran into that thing again. Uh, on the upside, though, uh, yesterday I did record four full episodes of K2SE. We made good progress over there. So we got a good, decent backlog for that. And if I record some more on Sunday, then I might not even have to record anything next week which I might use to just get a little bit more uh, more back into work. There we go. And Code Red and L. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. Good. We're going to need some of this stuff over here. There we go. Well, we can make the wagon. What do I missing for the train? Stealing glass. Hmm. Well, we do have steel over here. Well, we have glass also close by, but steel is down here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Take those, please. And then we just have to pick up some glass, and then we're going to check out if the um, deadlock loaders also work with the 1.175 patch. Good, glass is just over there. We're going to pick it up. If it does work, then we are... It's more or less the perfect time for them to work, because then we can at least design some really, really good train stations and don't have to fiddle around anymore with all those, um, all those um, high amount of inserters. There we go. Four episodes, long meeting? Nah, I mean, on Wednesday, I don't really do anything in the evening. I usually do relax, and when I relax, I record. And the recording just went very smooth. Bello! Yes! Also, wait a minute, it was not another... Yeah, long off. We also have to put long off in. I did not put long off in yet. Uh, but we are going to put the names in. Absolutely, Bello. But let's make some progress first. Let's do some, some experiments real quick. And we can actually do an experiment right over here. Here we go. Actually, don't even connect it to there. Just put down the train. Uh, what do we need? We need a loader. I'm just going to do the same experiment I did on the K2SE video. There we go. Something like this. Something like that. Good, good, good. Make me myself a train. And then we need a random thing that goes around. Probably the circuits. Circuits will be fine. It's first day. Yes, it's first day already. The week went kind of by fast. Um... And I, I think I spent most of my time at work just figuring out stuff. Well, actually, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, yesterday. A whole bunch of shit came together yesterday. Like, like I couldn't even get work done yesterday because a whole bunch... 
bunch of random stuff happened. For one, um, my, my DNS um, system kind of blew up. Uh, and debugging that took like forever. Then off my server, like one of the hard drives failed and I didn't notice it yet. So that was also an issue. Then I had a botched update on the server, which was also an issue. Um, <laughs> I had a half update of Arch Linux and fixing that was also a little bit annoying. And then some, some angry letters, which I had to handle. Um, nothing, nothing serious, nothing, <laughs> nothing important, but annoying nonetheless. Um, there we go, there we go. Okay, loaders. So yesterday everything came together. Really, really annoying. Okay, they don't pick up coal. That's good. They do work. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, yesterday I got, also got a letter from my uh, utility company going like, oh, yes, uh, we have to increase the gas price. The gas price increase was actually not that high. And then the other letter came around. Oh, we also have to increase your power price. And they were like, here, your power price is now 50% higher. And I'm going like, what the fuck? <laughs> 50 cents per megawatt. Oh, per, 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 per kilowatt hour, not per megawatt. <laughs> per, per megawatt would be amazing. Ah, uh, annoying, annoying. Whole bunch of annoying things. Good, 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 good. But loaders are working with trains now. Excellent. Yeah, pull us up in there. Here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. Here in Sweden, we pay like uh, eight, 80 cents per kilowatt some days. <laughs> 80 cents per kilowatt seems like a lot. <laughs> I mean, I wonder he was joking like, um, I'm not quite sure how much power my machine currently uses. We can maybe check. Can I check over here? Um, I think this one does tell me, does it tell me how much power we're using over here? Yes, we are. Okay, my, my, my GPU is using 60 watts and then the rest of my system probably a little bit more that is not really uh, set over here um but we can safely assume that it's like at least 400 watts over here <laughs> with all the other equipment oh god yes all the other equipment is even more probably like that there we go there we go there we go and it's called as heck going uh, to get a bill of over 600 per month just for electricity oof oof <laughs> Oh, can't you just go to Finland and, like, torch one of them? <laughs> Isn't that what we did in the past? <laughs> we have to spot price, but even uh, if we produce a lot of it, we are a nice country, so we share the rest with the EU. So we got the EU spot prices. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all annoying. All annoying. I get it. I mean, food is also expensive. Uh, good, but enough about the stupid things, more about the good things. More Factorio. So, what's the plan? What's the plan? We definitely want to finish off this thing down here. We already said it like twice the stream that we want to finish this thing off. Today, we're definitely finishing it off. And to do so, what are we missing? We're missing train stations. Oh, yes, train stations. We have prepared train stations over here. Excellent. So, we already started... I, I, I think I remember starting it, and then, like, the tiredness set in, and I was like, ah, I, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Good, good, good. Now, we do have to get over there somehow. Um, there we go. There we go. Come on. Get through there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, train track. I do have some train track on me. Lovely. Yeah, you get that over there. We can even activate the pocket bots. Pocket bots. Away. And what's the plan for the day? Why struggle with plans? Uh, in the end, we'll do something totally unrelated, get distracted, and talk about everything. That's usually the way it goes. That is very much correct. Good, good, good. You make some train stations. There we go. Davidenko, good night. How are you doing, mate? Oh, we can immediately update this one. You know what? We don't need all of these. Nah. Remember how we, we made, like, a really, really annoying system last time around so that we can at least securely unload the train and stuff like that? Nah. Nah, we don't need that. Pick it all up. We can do better. We can do so much better. There we go. <laughs> but you now you need to redo all the stations with loaders. We're not going to do all of them uh, anew. I mean, from now on, we're going to make stations with loaders. Very true. But the old ones that don't have loaders, they are, they can stay like that. We don't really need to, to optimize that too much. Mm, 
Oh, that's gonna be an issue. Can we can we even get over here? Yes, we can. <laughs> Good. Uh, we do need to do something about these trees. So, bots, do my bidding because I'm too lazy to do my own bidding. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you over there. You over there. And then you reconnect like that. There we go. And actually, we can already place this by hand. That should be fine. And then that should be fine. Good. Don't put that in. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Can we make some more of these? No, we can't. Because we're missing lead. We can pick that up right away. That should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, we do have a couple of bots available. Uh, a couple of pocket bots every now and then. They will help us out tremendously. Let's go back over here real quick. We probably also have to chop our way through here. Oh, sorry about that. I also just had like an evening meal real quick. Just before the stream began. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think I'll just chop these by hand. Will this actually will bots be faster? That's a good question. Yeah, let's just try it out of bots for now. Here we go this way, and we go this way. And bots away. It, it feel it still feels terribly, terribly slow, but maybe if we combine ourselves with bots, maybe maybe we can make it go faster. Actually, maybe if we just do the side and let the bots actually do the things that the bots can pick up. Then it will probably be for the better. Yes. Here we go. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> Random other bots. Can you abuse the bot charge thing? You mean picking them up to charge them faster? Yes, we can. Good. We have a bit done over there. So we need seaweed farms. I do remember that. We need... Um, wood comes from a belt. A lamp train. That's one of them. Yeah, small parts, that's two. Electronics, that's three. Iron, Niobe, Alloy, that's four. Um, and then the cellulose is wood and saline water. Saline water with a train for that hot air and kerosene or something like that. Okay, we need one more liquid station and I think then we're fine. You have to pick them up very close. Um, they skip the recharge. Oh... Yeah, something like that. Yeah, let's do this a little bit more. In the meantime, we chop over here. I mean, the bots, they they, they seem to work kind of well. It's not that they're lightning fast, but at least they, they do a little bit of work. And if we're smart about them and we can use them like this, then sure, why not? Here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. Are they powered? Uh, by means of a little shitty uh, engine in my pocket. I mean, we have the personal robot port over here. We've got two batteries over here. Uh, we got the portable gasoline generator, which is still going fine. And we got the night vision goggle in here, which we also can install in every cargo wagon and next to the train, it seems. Sure, why not? But yeah, they, they, they seem to be going fairly well. even charge fast enough it, it seems to be working kind of fair wolf hello there how are you doing mate welcome 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 good so we need one more liquid station and then we're good over here uh we can just cut the pieces over here we go just do that over there pick up you pick up the rock here we go good 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 sir well she hello as well one more, please. There we go. Good. And then bots do my bidding. Oh. <laughs> they picked up the track again. There we go. Good. So that should be enough inputs. It's a whole hacking load of inputs for the thing we want to do, which is a bit annoying. One thing we definitely do need to do is we do need to do the next uh, job. And we already got... Well, we now have a next train in our pocket. We could just quickly do the next little job. And what is the next little job? Well, basically, we want to make more of the iron next little antimony alloy, as well as more of this alloy and the intermetallics. We could just move these three over here, make a bit of a bigger system out of it, and then just feed stuff in left, right. We do need to train for that to bring in the next little. We do need to do some next little washing as well. We could maybe also try to put that over there. 
But where do we then put that next sort of train? We could maybe just put it in here somewhere and call it a day. Uh, we could also go all the way around. Uh, we probably do want to go down here, actually, now to think about it. Like, maybe even connect up this. Just go through those cliffs, go straight down, past the raw exolet, and then maybe just somewhere over here, because we do want to connect up this with the train station at some point in time, as well as probably over here, the oil sand, the uranium, and probably the quartz ore. So that is definitely something we could do. Good. So where is the train car? We had one car sitting around here somewhere that is full of train tracks. Well, he's not full of it, but he has 216 in it. We do have this guy over there. He has uh, other stuff in him. Um, what about you? Nope. What about maybe you? Who knows? Mm, any other car available? Eh. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's another car over here somewhere, but I have no clue where they are. This is this, this just this is too many cars going around. We just pick up some new stuff. New stuff will be fine. New stuff will be fine. Good. And then, of course, we have to make at least... Well, how many seaweed farms do we need to make? Hmm. We've got, like, three machines that make A... Or that require agar. And over here, it's a 4 to 1 ratio. But that is only if we want to run them at full speed. Hmm. Let's make at least four. And then we can think about what we actually need. Where are the seaweed farms over there? That is limestone and stuff like that. Sure, 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 sure. Are those my bots? Where the hell did you come from? Get back. Where did you come from? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> are you fixing my damages? Please don't fix my damages. Those are everlasting marks of my of myself being here. There we go. There we go. Um, limestone, tin, everything. Mm -hmm. A bit of bait size, bait size seeing. Yep, probably. I mean, limestone we do have over there. Here we go, here we go. That's at least a couple limestone. And you're making aircraft conductors in your pocket. Sure, make those, that's fine. But don't make them again. And most of the things we're missing is iron, pipes, and bricks. We can get it from over here. Did we already rethink about the place for our main mall? Not yet. That's a thing we have not really thought about yet. But we don't really need the main mall yet. We are not there yet that we need, like, everything. But at some point in time, we should think about it. Could you maybe not make pipe in your pocket? We got perfectly pipe over here. There we go. Give me some pipe. There we go. Good. You can make engines in your pocket. Good. Then we need some tin. And we need some train tracks either way. So we need to go up north either way. We should maybe also pick up some lead so that we can put down at least those extra tanks. Um, we should maybe at some point in time make an automation for uh, more of the intermediates, especially things like the brakes and stuff like that. Uh, because they also take like 20 seconds to craft, but ugh. Uh, it's all annoying again. Good, 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 good. Tin. Tin's over there. Lead we also need. Um, let's start with tin. And we also probably need glass either way, so pick up all of this, it'll be fine. Um, did I not pick up? I probably did. Here, have this. Give me those back. Good, 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 good. And then Let is, of course, over here. Ariara! Hello there! How are you doing? And then we can make another tree. Sure, make tree. And if we find some more tin? Yeah, I mean, eight is probably a good idea. Some tin and some bricks, and then we are good. There we go. Some of this, and then bricks. Ah, Galio, you also want in? Sure. We're going to put some names in as soon as we build a train track to the south. And then we have some space next to the track for the names. That's where they're going to be. Good, 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 good. But for now, we need some bricks. And we're probably going to make the names out of concrete because I don't have enough bricks everywhere. We need some bricks for crafting. There we go. Good, 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 good. Make one be more pyanodons. Absolutely more pyanodons. Oh, no message. Cylindro, eight months already with Prime. Thank you so much for that. How are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. What else do we need? Um, We do want to go deeper into... 
foundry smelting. So where are those over there? That is a whole bunch of ceramics we need and a whole bunch of iron that we need. Ceramics over here. There we go. One, two, three, four. That should be fine. Iron all the way over here. And don't mind if we pick up some coke. That will be fine. We are still missing. Oh, we're missing small parts. Yeah, we should definitely pick up some small parts. Here we go. Here we go. And man, <laughs> the only thing remaining over here is like the flower field and the aluminum mine. I think everything else in the center we have now already completely mined out. Oof. Um, yeah. We probably need some fuel somewhere. Here we go. Here we go. Put it in there. Be gone with it. That should be fine. Yeah, pick up those. Perfect. We can make one smelter, really. Because we need a metric ton of pipes for that. And also more of this. Okay, that's another one. How many do we need? Hmm. Well, with two, we can at least double our production. I want to at least triple it. So if we could make at least two more, that would be fine. Maybe we can even get a nice ratio going. Who knows? Um, and now the most thing that we're missing is iron and steel. There we go. We also need some foundries, which is also going to be a little bit annoying. Foundries require a whole bunch of stone and copper. Actually, copper cable, not copper. Uh, we do have that all available up here, so it should be fine. <laughs> and oh, look, my inventory is full again. Yes. Uh, full of shite. <laughs> the usual. Steel. Where's steel? Over there. Good. Make one more. There we go. We got some space in the inventory now. Excellent. Um, assembly machines. We don't really need those. What we do need is at least two foundries. And for that, we need stone and copper cable. Copper cable we have over here. We actually have that in the chest. So we might as well pick up some. There we go. And then, yes. I'll take that. i also take that. More voice. 18 months. Hello there. Thank you so much for that. Good, good, good. So, we got a little bit of this. We got a little bit of that. Then, the other thing we need to take a look at is the Nexolid processing. Because now that we have the Nexolid mine, we can actually do some actual Nexolid processing. And this is three raw Nexolid into one clean Nexolid. And then, how much clean Nexolid do we need to make plates out of it? Uh, 18 every 60. That is 3 every 10, 0 0.3 per second. And you over there, you make 0 0.33 per second. <laughs> sure, we can one to one these a washer and a foundry to make next to the plates. And we should just make probably a couple of them. I mean, we eat that at a rate of 1 per second in terms of raw next to coming in. If we put down four of them, we consume four per second. And I'm not quite sure how fast we mine it, but I'm pretty sure we mine it slower than four per second. Especially since the mine currently is off because we're waiting on more food. And food is being made over here. You got, well, a bit of it. We should probably also... Yeah, we need another slaughterhouse, I remember. We definitely want to make another slaughterhouse to improve the production of animal parts. There we go. There we go. So pick up some iron. Here we go, that should be fine. And then slaughterhouse, slaughterhouse, slaughterhouse. There it is. Mm. And then the only thing we're missing is some actual bricks. It's 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 surprising how much brick you need in this game. And if we can there, there's just one brick in there. I'll take it. Um, you got some bricks? You bricks? Nope. Bricks? Nope. Bricks? Oh yes, a couple. Uh, make at least one more slaughterhouse. I'm actually thinking about maybe making two more slaughterhouses. We do need some more titanium for that. Um, any bricks in there? No. And I just walked past the titanium because I wasn't paying attention. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me that. And then it's mostly iron and bricks again. Well, that's these two belts. Really now? Well, we got enough. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh, I had a bit of a boo-boo. <laughs> there we go. That should be fine. 
Yep, pick this up again. Good, 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 good. Okay, we got some stuff. We have a whole bunch of stuff to make uh, stuff met uh, with. What else do we need? Uh, if we do want to craft down there, we probably do need some iron plates in the pocket. So we should load up on that. I should probably drop some stuff in here because we don't need everything. We don't need the board for oxide. We don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need that. Chest is full. Uh, we don't need... Well, we do need that, but we don't need this. We need seeds, this, that, this, that. Or this, or that, or this, or that. We do need the seaweed. And technically, we also need to make some moss farms. Can we make requested chests already? No. Um, because we don't have any logic bot bots yet. Uh, we can make the, the, the storage chests, but not the requests yet. Tall man! Waves with random people. Random people, wave back. <laughs> oh. Ah. Good, 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 good. Uh, pipes. We probably need some pipes. Yeah, let's pick up some of these then. That's fine. And then pick up these. That's fine. Pick up some random iron plates. It's not random enough. Oh. There we go. Then we can at least pocket trough whatever we need. Um, If we pick up some more aluminum and some more... Well, we got copper cable. We only need some aluminum. And then we can make some more medium power poles. And then I think we're good for now. Then at least we can start building something. If we pick up the train tracks. We should not forget about the train tracks. And hup, hello there. How are you doing, mate? The title is missing a word. We didn't much done last. <laughs> yep. The title is missing a word. Yeah, we saved uh, we saved effort on the word. We used um, 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 an efficiency module on the words. There we go. Good. Yeah, make 16. I'll be fine. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, that's, that's how I felt all week already. Like, all week, I didn't get much stuff done. I was mostly distracted by a whole bunch of other things. I do hope that next week will be better, because this week is basically over. I mean, tomorrow's Friday... And not quite sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow at work. Well, I'm going to try to do as much as I can. But I can already feel in my bones that tomorrow is going to be another one of those days where you just sit around and go like, ah, ah. Stuff needs to be done. Stuff needs to be com uh, communicated. Communication is hard. And, uh, But one step at a time. That's the only thing I can do. One step at a time. Good, good, good. Okay, we got everything we need. Hmm... Yeah, we don't need anything extra. Everything else we can pocket craft if we need to. We should probably make a couple of loaders while we're over there. We got inserters, we've got power poles, we've got lamps, we got everything we need. Good, good, good. Now the only thing we need is a car, and then we're gonna build some fun stuff. Also, this thing. Be over there. Not required anymore. And so I guess it didn't proceed much on oil power. Uh, or was those plants uh, you burned the waste resource? The oil power. We have an oil power plant over here. That's right over there. Oil power plant mark one. We got a coal power plant on one side and an oil power plant on the other side. And we are mostly burning off kerogene, actually. The kerogene over here is being turned into gasoline, aromatics, and kerosene. And the kerosene we just pump over straight over here. <laughs> We have no use for it, and we make so much of it that we don't really... Yeah, we, we can't really push it anywhere. So, we got this thing going over here, which is nice. The only thing we need to do over here is add a little bit more molten salt to the mix. There's not enough in there yet, but it's enough to at least keep going for a while, and that is good. But an actual oil-based power plant where we, like, refine oil and stuff like that... Nah, we don't have that one yet. I'm also kind of curious... Is it always going to be kerosene? Like, if we go, like, to... Oh, God, where is it? Um, Yeah, the Mark II oil power plant. No, that's fuel fuel production. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here, this is how we make fuel. See a whole bunch of other things over here. Um, Diesel. More diesel, syngas, kerosene. Oh, that's a good one. But don't we get, like, better, 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 better oil power plants later on? Mm, 
oil power stage two. Yes. And this one runs on fuel oil. Oh. So do they become better? Yeah, we do get recipes that make hotter molten salt. That's good. And running on fuel oil is definitely a good idea. What do we get in level three? This one, this one runs on diesel. And makes stuff even hotter. And the last one runs straight up on gasoline. Okay. <laughs> oh, you thought of the actual oil process chain, but yeah, that, that is way later. I mean, technically, the tar processing is already a bit like the oil processing chain. Where we have, like, multiple stages we refine and stuff like that. But we are not that deep into oil yet. I mean, we don't even handle crude oil yet. We have shale oil as a thing we work with. But that's pretty much about it. Good, good, good. All right, we need a train track. We need to make better than excellent. We got a train for the excellent. That is good, but we also need to make more food. But let's start by building a train track going down over here somewhere. And I'm kind of thinking of going straight past Profispiel over here. Yeah, that will work because then we pass the cliff, then we pass the oil patches over here. Yes. So we go straight over there. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Make, make some signals, please. We're gonna need them. Here we go. Here we go. And then down we go. Not like that. Thank you. Now we can ignore the trees. The <laughs> train will run over the trees for us. So I guess that's fine. And go a little bit higher. Here we go. Ha. Ah, and then there comes the cliff. So we go this way, that way. It'll be fine. And where do we want to go with this, actually? Hmm. I guess maybe down here. Just blow up the cliffs? We can't. We have no cliff explosives yet. Here we go. Unless they move them around. Did they move them around? No, they're still over here. I mean, we're getting to them at some point in time. They're pretty deep in logistics science. Um, but maybe at some point in time we can get to them. Good, 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 good. So, this one over here, uh, what is this intended to be? Well, we just made a stupid loop for now. Which I guess was fine. But we do want to do some next load processing. That will be my goal for today. Nah, we're not making that today. The research in between will take too long. Uh, we could maybe do some next load processing right over here. It might be big enough. I mean, what do we need for that? Oh, we, we didn't make the machines for that. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> uh, we can ghost it. We can at least ghost it. We do need, basically, these two machines. This is the part that we need to make the next lot. And it will actually not be too big. We could maybe even make it in here. Uh, maybe we could make it in here. I mean, we did kind of say we want to make four of these. So, sure. That could work. And if we place the train station over here, where is that thing? Here we go. Here we go. Did you say stupid loop? Yes, a stupid loop. The best kind of loop. Here we go. And then we can use the power of loaders. Yeah, power of loader will be fine. And then a couple of these. And yeah, it will be fine. No more tailing recipe? Yeah, sadly. Oh, the tailing recipe on top. Yeah, that thing we could and probably should get rid of. Eh. Let's see. Eh. If we move this whole thing down by one. Bots, away, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, here we go. Now, it needs to be one lower, isn't it? Nah. 
Wait a minute. No, it's e it's even worse. It's even worse. One moment, please. Oh, actually, no, that looks actually kind of nice if you think about it. <laughs> there we go. You over there. You over there. Sure. Yeah, let's make it symmetric. There we go. Well, it's not really that symmetric. Symmetric-ish. <laughs> It's symmetric ish. Good, good, good. And then in, 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 in. Here we go. Here we go. Sure. You over there. Rasputin. No, you're not Rasputin. You are raw Nexalit. Where's that stuff? Where's raw Nexalit over there? Raw Nexalit. 1 1 requester. Uh, we do have to set up a training with the stuff like that. Ah. Yeah, we technically do need a buffer, don't we? Technically. Um, practically, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this station can always be open. It can always be open. I mean, we can use the train itself as the buffer. It's not that, that important. But then again... We do run into the issue that when we empty out, then it takes longer to fill up again. We should add some kind of buffer. Well then, mm, we could move the whole thing. Okay, it's going to be terrible. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, bots, do my bidding. Unless from the other side, nah, I kind of want to put everything in here if you can. In, out. There we go, that works. <laughs> that works. There we go. <laughs> also, I don't really see the reason why we do it like this. Other than I just want to do it like this. And I think that's more than enough of a reason. I mean, this is only going to be the first scrummy build for Nexalit, but we do need a little bit more Nexalit. Oh, what happened over here? Um, here we go. And the Muddy Water, well, we don't really... We, we still can't really do much with the Muddy Water, so I guess it goes back down the drain. We can't make a drain yet because... Oh, that's Stone Brick. Oh, oh. Well, one step at a time. Uh, the water will come from over there. Uh, one thing we do need to do is the output. Hmm. Now that's going to be another one of those weird ones. Here we go. Here we go. And then push it together. Here we go. We could do the same thing over there. Merge it together. And then you go like this. You go like that. You go like this. And that's that. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, we don't get any fire products, do we? Mm, I don't think so. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. So that could make all the next lit. That doesn't work? What does it not work? Oh, yeah. Something is wrong over here. Wait a minute. Um... Yeah, this needs to be up by one. There we go. Yeah. And then you go over there. There we go. Now it works. <laughs> now it's better. Good. They come together over here. And then they come both together. And then they go. Good, 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 good. Perfect. And then you yeah, put some power poles around. Just in random places. Here we go. Random enough that we can put some lamps in there as well. Uh, we should probably put down at least a signal or two over here. Uh, I guess it got in. Uh, and then you over there. Good, 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 good. Is that in? Yeah, that's in. And we might as well put the train down here because we can. Uh, we don't really have a fuel line down here. Urgh. Urgh. 
Insert us from washes to furnaces? Yes, we also have to put that in. But I'm kind of concerned about fuel at the moment. There's a coke belt over here. <laughs> I mean, sure. Why not? Off we go. Here we go. Yep. We're probably going to use the coke belt for something else either way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, let's go up and around. I mean, we could at some point in time make something like a refueling train. It might be a good idea at some point in time, but not right now. Good, 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 good. Yep, you over there, you over there, you over there. And then maybe connect them up. Here we go. Uh, we also need output over there. Uh, you over there, whitelist ash. We never have to worry about that for a while. <laughs> That'll be fine. Good, 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 good. So that will be the next solid um, station over here. Uh, do we have the other uh, side set up over there? What about you? Originus? No, you are going to be... Where is that thing? Uh, raw Nexolith Provider. Here we go. And then we need a little bit of logic around. Where's the logic? We don't have logic. Here, make some of these. I guess we can just place you over there. And then standard green cable. Standard connection. Uh, it stacks up to, I think, a thousand. So if this over here is... If everything in here is less than, say, 500, then you open up. Not with the M signal, with the L signal. There we go. And then you over there. Set trail limit, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Go over there. Go over there. Full cargo. Empty cargo. Technically, you could already go. Actually, the shit looks a little bit more purple than usual. It is. It's also because of the camera. The little webcam I had before that, um, the white balancing of that one was just way off. And the new camera over here, which we have since, like, December, um, has just better color gradients on it. So it actually does look way more purple than this. Actually, it looks exactly like it is. Let's put it like that. Good. Let's take a quick trip. If we notice in December, I don't think I wore this in December, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> yeah. Good, and we do kind of want to go back real quick so that we can make those four washing machines and those two um, foundries over there. And we mostly, yeah, we need a whole bunch of stone brick for that. Uh, the amount of stone brick we need is, is pretty impressive, to say the least. I kind of underestimated that, I think. Um, how is stone? Yeah, we, we got this weird issue over here. Ah, uh, can we, can we, can we... Yes, we can make a stack over here. Um, let's... We're gonna go over there, we're gonna put in a stack over here for this train. Because we kind of have the issue that this train over here wants to go to the provider, which is sitting over there. This train over there wants to go to the requester, which is sitting over there. And they're currently deadlocking each other. We also, of course, have the issue that we got a whole bunch of kerogen over here. Which will never come out. What's with you? What are we waiting on? Come on. Is there a signal on the way? Ah, there we go. Good, 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 good. It says repathing. Yes, it was waiting for, for the path to open up. I also kind of want to see how often we get repath uh, events when this train goes around. Maybe it's time to switch over to one way? Maybe. Maybe. Then again, we don't really care about it. We only care about it when we actually want to drive around the train. Good, 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 good. And let's break it off. There we go. 
Actually, I should have gone off later, but well, <laughs> so be it. Actually, no, this is this is pretty perfect. Here we go, here we go. You there, you're gonna get the stacker. I can make that, there we go. Yeah, one stacker for you, and we're gonna turn you into an arithmetic one. And then just each divide that by say oh is this gonna be correct? No, it's not gonna be correct, is it? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, we need to offset it then. Yes, we do. Oh, there is the train. It it works for the providers with just an arithmetic one. For the requesters, it actually does not work like that. For the requesters, we basically have to put in a constant combinator that tells us how much we want. And, for example, we want to have in here two shipments. Each shipment is a thousand. So we want to have, like, two thousand stone in here. Stone, where are you? That's what we want. That's what we have. Uh, so we combine them up. And then we take the arithmetic combinator. And whatever we have, we divide that by, like, a thousand. And put that out as the L signal. There we go. So, oh, uh, it's now negative. That's not good. Mm, we need a positive number. So we need to invert it before we do that. You over there. No. You over there. You over there. You over there. And you just invert this whole thing. And now to think about it. No, bold. Be less stupid. We can avert over here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, welcome to Math Lessons 101. <laughs> So now we always order up up to two trains over here, and now we also get more stone in here. Perfect. As soon as one arrives, yeah, it's it's exactly on the border. You can see it flickering over here. Uh, that's because it's not really backing up. That's fine. That's fine. Good, 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 good. Sure. That will be fine. That will at least keep the stone flowing. Then again, then we have the issue of the carriage over here. Um... And Kerogene is currently, well, currently we have the big issue with Kerogene over here that we just have too much kerosene over here. <laughs> Way too much kerosene. I'm going to save from some loaders. Oh, we could do that. Why not? While we're here. There we go. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have so many inserts in our pockets if we do that all the time. Ah, uh, but loaders, yes. Uh, we could, of course, now also speed unload. We could also just do like, wait a minute. There we go. Put down another one. Another input. And now we can load it twice as fast. There we go, there we go. But I don't think that we will see another train coming over here anytime soon. Mostly because... There we go. Yeah, the carriageine. We need to handle the carriageine probably a little better. Okay, time to get distracted again. What can we do over here to make the carriageine flow a little bit better? Mm, I mean, we're mostly being blocked off by the... What's it called again? Um, by the this stuff over here. We could just make a tank. Make a big happy tank, a second big happy tank, place it over here. Push the problem for a later uh, issue and just be happy with that. Sure, why not? <laughs> That's a way of doing it. Here we go, here we go. Come on, give me a big happy tank, please. Instead of 8 million kerosene, oof. There we go. Yeah, pump over there, pump over there. Uh, 
have fun with it. I mean, we can always use the kerosene for the for the oil power plant. So, sure, why not? And that will empty out you a little bit more. That will make this thing over there go a little bit faster. Um, and, I mean, while we're at it, I guess whenever we see one of these, we can maybe just spend the effort and fix it. <laughs> there we go. That's future problem, boss problem. It was also from last time. Yep, absolutely. Good, so this one will empty out now. Um, we still got quite a bit of gasoline over here, and we're kind of trying to burn off quite a bit of gasoline locally, as much as we can. Um, yeah, you are unloading. We can do the same thing again over here, if we want to. There we go. Unload twice as fast. Lovely. <laughs> Recycle the inserters. I'm not quite sure what we're going to be recycling them into. Um, we will see. We will see. I mean, we're probably going to use them for, for some builds here and there. So we should not, not pick up every station yet. So that we don't have too many inserters in our pockets. But every now and then we will probably need to put one down. Good. 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 And yeah, well, there's still like tons of carriage over there. We can probably also do this over here better. Uh, we can probably put it in the same system over here. Here, open up you. Actually, we don't need to do it like that. There we go. Uh, we can just so go like here. It's less than like 2,000. Same effect. Same effect. And Jane's there. Jane, how are you doing? You finally made it. Ooh. Did you finally unleash your in inner super surgeon and you buffed out? Did you do it? <laughs> I kept missing my streams. Aww. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you. Yeah, you are probably stuck because the last three, I missed most of it. Well, you didn't really miss much in the last one because I was very tired. Uh, the Monday one was kind of productive, and, well, today's today. There we go. Good, 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 good. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Um, so this over here, I guess, will be fine for now. Though, I don't really see it operating. Oh, there we go. Um, probably because... Why did it not budge? You're mostly fine. Is this steam fine? Steam is fine. Carbon dioxide is... <laughs> Oh, we get carbon dioxide from over there. Yes, that's true. It's all the shale oil that's full. And then condensates. Oh, I see the issue. <laughs> the condensates pipe is also backed up. Ha. Huh. What are we doing with the condensates at the moment? Currently, we're trying to... Splice them in the system over here, but we can't really do that that often, so we burn it off over there. I guess we can just burn it off more. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> well, I don't really care about it right now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, washing machines. Yes, we need four washing machines. We need four foundries. Um, let's see if we can still find some brick. Let's hope we didn't craft it all away, and see what we can do with that. There you go. Bricks. Give me all those shitting bricks. Here we go. Here we go. Well, that's the four washing machines. Sly Fox. Yes, I should hydrate. Absolutely. And two more of these. I'm actually out of hydration. We also like the in the one hour mark already. So, tell you what. I'm going to get myself something to drink real quick. Then we're going to go back over here. To pick up, ooh, uh, to finish up the next little plate making machine over there. Then we're gonna take the next little plate and everything we used to make over here, and we're gonna just move it over there. And we're gonna make more of the iron, niobium, uh, no, the iron, antimony, next little alloy, and more of the Ritroflex and stuff like that over here. Oh, there's quite a bit of trees over there. It always kind of doesn't look like a lot of trees on the map, but then you zoom in and you go like, oh, fuck. <laughs> trees everywhere. Um, and once we make more of the alloys, we can also start thinking about exporting those alloys because we do need them for the 
stuff that we want to make right now. Good. So I'll be right back. You guys just watch. Wait, 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 wait. Let's send you around. Here we go. You guys can watch these adorable fuckers while I'm gone. <laughs> be right back. Ah, oh, did the food not arrive yet? God dang it. Oh, no, there we go. Just in time. <laughs> there they are. Ah. Water, am I sick? No, but I should hydrate a little bit more with water every now and then. Also, I got the energy drink next to it. So, there we go. <laughs> Well then, that's where we get our next load from. Good. Though, food production can be increased. Speaking of food production... <laughs> Adam the Rat, gotta love the giggle, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, lovely. Ah. Speaking of giggling, there will probably be a whole bunch of giggling tomorrow in tomorrow's stream because we're going to be playing some Darkest Dungeon. And as we all know, no, that's a very fair game. <laughs> Nothing terrible happens in Darkest Dungeon. I'm very much looking forward to play Darkest Dungeon again tomorrow. Ah, it's just such an amazing game. And I'm very much excited for Darkest Dungeon 2 coming out at some point in time. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the, the sequel the sequel is already out. It's currently still kind of like in... Um, uh, what's it called again? Epic Mega Games Hell. And I don't really want to support them, so I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> I'm just completely and utterly ignoring it until it comes out. Here we go. Hmm. That's going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? Hmm. Darkest Dungeon is a fair game. It is very fair. It's definitely a fair game. Every decision in Darkest Dungeon I made usually was, well, it, whenever I got fucked over in Darkest Dungeon, it usually was because of a decision I made and not because of random RNG. Even though random RNG is also a bit part of the game, but yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, let's make some more of these. We need to shred more mice. Let me put that over there. Uh, then... Okay, you're still pocket drafting random stuff. That's fine. Uh, I had some big plans with this, but I don't think we need to make it this big. <laughs> I think we can just go with a splitter setup. So, let's go with a splitter setup instead of this madness. I 
there's an RNG by definition random and therefore calling it random RNG is superfluous. No, 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 no. There, there's RNG and there's random RNG. It's a different thing. It's definitely a different thing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now at least we can see bottom output. Yeah, where, where's the eat? There we go. Um, Meat. There we go. Uh, and then this one is Lord. Not ours. Art. There we go. And next one is Bones. We know our Bones. There we go. And then this one, the last one, is Skin. Well, we should probably already see it like this. Skin. I see the guts over there. Where's the skin? Skin. There we go. And then... Oh, no. We have one more then. Um, No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This is... This is skin. This is brains. There we go. That should do it. And then we just... Take care of this goo pile. There we go. Sorry about that. Eh. Eh. It makes it just a little bit easier because then we just have like a single belt coming out and not like a madness belt coming out. Or a madness amount of belts coming out. There we go. Yeah, just do it like this. It'll be fine. There we go. And I'll bolt the thing I told you last week. You started the K2SEBZ 100 tech modifier. Took 10 plus hours for electric lines and 20 per circuits. Am I getting a small taste of pie, ain't I? Yes. What is the BZ again? Uh, space celebration and then... I think I already asked the last time around. BZ, BZ. Hmm. Raven suits. Oh, I've not really looked at those yet. And Dark Ascension is a great game. What I have, uh, Suit of Dark Ascension 2 only confirmed my belief that it's better to wait for the full release. Yes, definitely. I mean, Dark Ascension 1 was also, like, a, a long time in, like, early access. But I'm not quite sure if, if I'm going to be liking Dark Ascension 2 as much as I do Dark Ascension 1. Because I kind of like the idea of the grand campaign we have in, like, Dark Ascension 1. And whereas Dark Ascension 2 is more or less a little bit more, like, uh, roguelike. Have fun with this and just come back when you're better. Which I guess is also fine. But I kind of like the, the grand campaign. The grand campaign is always something, like, I really enjoy. Is it a belt between two splitters? Uh, oh, yes, we are. Oh. There we go. Pick up the brain. There we go. Speaking of brains, uh, yeah, have bright ideas over there. Have some skin over there. And then it was available. Wait, uh, the available content for Dark Dungeon 1 in the early access period felt a lot more fulfilling than what we've seen in Dark Dungeon 2 EA content. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, I'm just looking forward to, to like, <laughs> I'm just looking forward to it. Let's put it like that. Target's Dungeon is always one of those games where you can have like a lot of fun with. There we go. I could also put this whole stuff in the chest and be done with it, but nah, we're, we're doing this manually. There we go. Good. And then the Lord over there. Anything else we're missing? I think I got everything out of my pockets. There we go. Good, so we doubled down on the gerbil meat grinder. Excellent. That will also mean we doubled down on the food production because the food production over here for the worker food is more or less waiting on... Oh, it's it's mostly waiting on... What is that? On the guts. Okay, I see. And the lard is slowly but surely backing up. And even the skin is backing up. Cool. There we go. Good, good, good. We might need the third one. And actually, we probably do need the third one. We can't just place the third one. We can't place the third one over there. I mean, this is the mouse sink. Might as well sink some mice in here. Here we go. And then... Here we go. That should be fine. Good, 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 good. Ah. 
Relias, sarcasm. Okay, we got already three names in the game. We should probably do something about that. We don't really want to back them up as much. Uh, but we do need to find ourselves some materials for that. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Collect the blood output. Oh, yes. The blood output. Wait, let's do that real quick. Oop. Before we leave. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That should be better. Good, 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 good. Let's hope that this will be enough. Um, I was not quite sure how much well, we are very much backed up on the gerbils. <laughs> They're just sitting on those belts going like, where are we going? Ah, just to the fun house. Absolutely going over to the fun house. Um, also, interesting to see that you over there, output full. What's going on over here? Your barrel output is full. Okay. Yeah, this was maybe something I was kind of concerned about. That some of these might just have the issue that they block themselves with the barrels that are available in the system. The rest of them seem to be working fine. So, sure, 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 sure. If you're being honest, the fact that I'm even in the considering, well, considering of either one. Wait, what? I missed something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yes. You got a new jump interview on, on an hour and another one in a few hours. Ooh. And if you're being honest, the fact that I'm even consider, uh, in, in the consideration for either one, never uh, never mind both, just blows your mind. Well, just best case scenario, you get them both. And you work 80 hours a week, and then you die like a week after. <laughs> now, I wish you the best in both of them. And... Well, if you do get like, I mean, if both of them do want you, then you can make the choice. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Okay, we need some names. Um, and not only names, we need some materials for that. So let's pick up some concrete. Here we go. Let's go to the concrete making machine. The concrete making machine is up here somewhere. Oop. Definitely the week is the best case. Yes. <laughs> Wait, isn't that, isn't that how it goes? Dang. The, the thing is, though, how do you choose? Hmm. Hmm. I guess, I mean, if I were in the same kind of situation, I would probably choose the one that had the most benefits for me. But if they're both equal, worst case scenario, just throw a die. <laughs> If they're truly equal to each other. I mean, you would then have to go through the whole thing and analyze and weigh each other out. And go like, what, what do we get over here? What do we get over there? What is this? Maybe even, maybe if you really want to dig into it, maybe even, well. Oof. And it's definitely going to be a weird and hard decision. Let's put it like that. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I guess the best decision would be go with your gut. Because that, if, if they're truly equal, then it's a gut decision. Here we go. Okay, name of the game. Uh, we're going to make some names in the game. I mean, I never really had this, uh, the scenario that I had like two jobs lined up waiting for me. But then again, <laughs> every time I applied for a job, I got it on the spot. So I never really was job hunting. <laughs> it was always like, okay, I'm working here now. Okay, hello, you're working here now. <laughs> Didn't work there. <laughs> <laughs> like both are really uh, are highly paid roles uh, one is good in the world in your eyes the other one is a major video game publisher that would look absolutely wonderful on your resume in the future uh. hmm. Hmm. well go with what you think is the best for you ha that's the best kind of advice <laughs> here we go here we go here we go Name of the game down here somewhere where we make the next stuff. There we go. We do have the things in our pocket to finish this off. So not only are we going to put the name of the game, we're also going to finish this thing off. Yeah, the game industry has a lot of crunch. That is also very true. Kind of depends which game industry it is, though. <laughs> if it's like EA, then I would just go like, no, get out. Get the fuck out. Run. Run as fast as you can. If it would be something like, like, 
Paradox, you're probably fine. If it would be something like Whoop, you're probably fine. Um, in these videos, we'll probably have a lot of crunch, but usually that crunch gets rewarded with a bit of love at least. Um, but yeah, crunch time is definitely something you should think about. Good, 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 good. So let me do extent. I'm somewhat in, um, insulated from the dire part of the crunch because I'm an infrastructure engineer as opposed to developer and artist. Yeah, but <laughs> true, true. Maybe, maybe. Good. But then again, uh, well, yeah, crunch. <laughs> Let's focus on the game. Um, good, 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 good. So names in the game. First and foremost, who was it? Um, yeah, the long off wanted in. So, let's put the long off in. Three, four, five. I mean, in my opinion, usually crunch is something that should actually never happen. I do get it that it happens sometimes. And I see it in the project uh, we're working on at the moment as well, where managers come around and go like, we're going to do this. And everybody goes like, no, no, we're not. <laughs> um, there's no way we're going to finish this off. And they go, still go around like, yeah, we're going to do this. And then you go like, okay. Fine, I'll be there. I'm gonna work my ass off, and then we're still not gonna do it. And then at the end of the day, we still didn't do it, but everybody was happy. And you go like, what? <laughs> and usually, when when crunch happens, in my opinion, mostly it's just people being stingy and not hiring enough people. Because with enough people, the crunch should not happen. But things always happen. Like a little bit of crunch is always fine. Like maybe up to a month, it's fine. Everything over that is like, no, stop. <laughs> Something's going wrong. Something's going horribly, horribly wrong. Good. Uh, and then we need a long off. There we go. Um, that's not how you make a G, but something like this is the G. There we go. Uh, and then we need the O. This one is still from yesterday. Well, they plan, like us, and make it far more complicated than they need to. Yeah. That's, that's also the thing I see with us all the time. Uh, now it's not the long off, now it's the log off. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> yeah, management exception, uh, expectations are always a bit, well, not very true to reality. <laughs> and when it doesn't work, it's hard to make them listen to why it's not working. Uh, there we go. Oh, that, that is a horrible, horrible O. That's the worst O I've ever made. Why is the G not round? Because it is now. Here we go. And then... Long off. There we go. Good, 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 good. You spelled my name wrong? It's Azaroff. <laughs> Oops. Now, we also got Bella over here. Bella also has the name of the game. Um, there we go. There we go. Yeah, you'll be over here. You yeah, have a B? No, an A. I hate the A. There we go. And then we need some L's. And then we got Palo done. Oh, <laughs> well, that's no. Good. Then Calio. Uh, oh. Let's put you down here somewhere. Let's put you down here. Good. That's with a K. That's with a K. One, two, three, four, five. Five. There we go. And then another A. Not quite sure what we'll be, we will be building down here, but at some point in time, there will be a building over here. And then your name will be around it. Here we go. Here we go. Good. I'm skipping the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And Zara, if you don't know why you have the audio patch, you can clearly hear you. Well, maybe you just can read my lips. Maybe you were being deaf all along, and because they can read lips, you can hear everything. You can even hear the sounds of Victoria, the machine set that they're making. <laughs> Now nah, Twitch has been twitchy like that. Um, I know a couple of other people that have the same issue. Uh, and then, of course, sarcasm. Really? Sarcasm? Um, sarcasm. Um, and Pulse is writing drunk again? Ah, uh, probably. Let's see. Sarcasm down here. Oh, uh, okay. For sarcasm, we can't fit that over there. That's that's so long. I still have enough bricks on me. This should be fine. Did we get Zaroff? Zaroff. Or... I mean... I don't see the redemption, but okay, I can put Zaroff in. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> here. Sarcasm will be down here. Unless it was from last time, then... Ah, there we go. <laughs> now we good. Mm. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, sarcasm reverse. Uh, an S. Yeah, you're out in the middle of the boonies. And we an A, here we go. Here we go. Eep. 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 Then we need to see. Here we go. Uh, and then we need R. Eh. Oh god. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little stumpy. <laughs> There we go. Then we need another A. Mm. Here we go. And the last at the beginning. Sarcasm. There we go. <laughs> Take you thousands of points away from your goal of 300,000. You'll get there. You'll get there. What's the difference between the A and the C? Wait, what? Sorry, chasm. Should be fine. Good, 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 good. Zaroff, you can be over here. Not quite sure what will be over here, but at some point in time, a magnificent building will be standing over here. Uh, one, two, three, and then... Here we go. Good, 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 good. Yep. And then we're good for names for a while. Unless we run out of stones or bricks, then we'll have to think of something. Here we go. How many Fs is that? Two. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> Just an entire stream of putting viewers' names down. Well, that's a thing you can do. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. But now we're good for names, at least. Then I don't need to do that money uh, after the stream. <laughs> so, uh, did we did we finish up this thing over here? No, no, no. We're still missing inserts and stuff like that. And the washing machines are in, and we're still missing the water. As well as the transport over into the other machine over here. Here we go. Here we go. So that is in. Um, can we at least make the sink? No. Ah. Uh, we can probably just pipe it over all the way over there. We've got the sink over there. We're just going to pipe it over there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So is Pyrodons really as hard as people say? Um, well, define hard. If you just define hard to buy, it's it's really hard to achieve, and you really, really need to think uh, on your toes to get there. Not really. 
Pyandot mostly is very complicated in terms of recipes and byproducts and getting to the thing you want and balancing stuff. That's where it's kind of hard. It's it's more long, yeah. Think think of it more like long war than things like um, playing on legendary commander difficulty or something like that. Pie is hard and long. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's let's just open up this menu over here. That's that usually shows it. If we go to the alien life tab over here, this is all the stuff we can build over here. Still scrolling. And you probably need to make one of each at some point in time. If we go to the high-tech thing, this is all we can build over there. If we go to the petroleum handling, that's... Well, petroleum handling is a little bit more straightforward. Uh, raw ores is also kind of complicated. Um, fusion energy is not as complicated. Pi alternative energy. Oh, boy. <laughs> all bunch of complex intermediate parts in there. Uh, coal processing is mostly assembly machines and stuff like that. And then industry items. Yes. The pie altar. <laughs> I've never seen it, but I hear people like 300 hours in and they're just getting something basic. Oh, yes, that is definitely pie. If we go over to the milestones tab over here, this is the milestones tab. It's another mod we installed. This basically shows us when we did something for the first time or when we completed something like a thousand or 10,000 times. Our first Pi Science Pack, which is the very first Science Pack we can make. We completed that 42 hours in. No, wait, no, 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 no. The first Science Pack is this one. Half an hour in. <laughs> Half an hour in, we made the first Science Pack. 42 hours in, we made the second Science Pack. 28 hours in, we made green circuits. 30 hours in, we made plastic. Um, And yeah, this gives you a bit of an idea. First red ammo, 129 hours in. Yes. <laughs> This is all the stuff you're missing from research? Yes. What is time now? Um, time is probably something at... Now oh, we can just check. Six days, five hours, 45 minutes and five seconds. And I mean, the base... I mean, this is definitely... Definitely already a starter base, but... Well, we're not even scratching the surface yet. We're not even at material processing 2, where we then suddenly can do a whole bunch more things. We're not even at things like drill heads, or things like Oryx, which is going to be fun, or key calc, or um, stuff like that. There's still a whole bunch of things in here that we need to do, a whole bunch of farms we need to make, and a whole bunch of other things. So, yeah, it's, it's going to take some time. Good. Um, yeah, you're not backed up on the muddy sludge. The muddy sludge we don't really care about much for now. We're just gonna pick it up. It's gonna go all the way over here. Let's see. Um, we can't go through there, so we just go through here. Here we go. And let's pull it in reverse. There we go. We need to be over there. It's all going down the sinkhole over here. There we go. Just spaghetti it over there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Here we go. Here we go. Good. <laughs> And you've been doing your first Bobs and Angels playthrough, and it's very complicated for you. Yeah, Bobs and Angels is a lot of fun. I actually kind of want to play Bobs and Angels again at some point in time. We're probably playing that after we finish this. Uh, because Bobs and Angels was also my first big mod pack, and I really enjoyed it. You love Pi, but you can't stand Angels and Bobs. It feels <laughs> so easy in some parts. Uh, I haven't played it in a while, so we have to check it out. Good, 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 good. But this seems to be going well. Perfect. Those of you, are you just waiting? You're just waiting. Here we go. Here we go. Also, again, with the random stream itchy nose, it always, always, only happens on stream. Here we go. Make a buffer. Woo! <laughs> Hello, trade. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> Good. Oh, they're still crafting, by the way. There we go, there we go. And there it is. 
the first Nexalut. Well, the first Nexalut of the bigger Nexalut machine. Urgh. Urgh. <laughs> it still feels like we're not making it very fast, but at least we now have a Nexalut production. Good, 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 good. He actually tried space exploration as the first, and it was not too different, but needed so much more throughput, uh, which was uh, got you. Yeah, space exploration. Um, a thing I really enjoy about space exploration is like the rocket logistics. I really enjoy that setting it all up and making it so that we can uh, automate the transport of stuff to like the space pla space platform and stuff like that, or to like foreign planets. I really enjoyed that. In Pyanodons, later on, it will mostly be around managing your resources and making a train system or something like that, or any kind of system, that allows you to somehow manage your resources, because we're going to have a whole bunch of them. There we go. Never played Angels and Bobs, but you would like uh, need something more complicated than more. Pure Angel seems neat, but I don't think it works with Bob yet. Yeah, not quite sure what Bobs brings to the table much. I mean, I don't really like the Bob inserters. I'm sorry, <laughs> I like my inserter straight. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of corner inserters. I find them lazy. Um, <laughs> um, but that's just me. Um, but angels, I did enjoy angels. The thing I really enjoyed the most about angels was, was like the ore sorting. And the bob modules. Yeah, the bob modules, I mean... If you just take the base Bob modules without the God modules, they're basically doing the same thing as in space exploration with the modules, where you just like, have multiple tiers of the of the same module, which is kind of nice. But yeah, the God modules, they, they break everything. They break absolutely everything. And last five base where they run 2,500 trains, kind of, <laughs> kind of no UPS. Shall we boot up the old base? Come on. Just to give you a perspective. If you're already curious, let's give you a perspective of the old base. It's always fun to go over there. That's the thing. Always have a friend over there. Uh... Hey, here we go. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Enjoy the slideshow. Yes. <laughs> Always great to look at the old base. Maybe we get an inspiration. There we go. Today we learned Bolt doesn't read his Discord. Nope, I don't. <laughs> I've got way too many notifications over there. Good. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, no, don't, don't be on map mode. Let's, let's go somewhere where we can sit around for a second. There we go. Oh boy, let's let's turn this off real quick. We don't need that. Uh, put that back in. Good. So we are over here next to the Cirque Long Black Coke Factory. This one is still making coke for us. It's only a tier two facility, but it's making quite a lot of coke. Um, and then we also got the Pepsi sign over there, and we got some train tracks over there. We got some train tracks everywhere. <laughs> we got quite a lot of train tracks. Um. And quite a lot of trains. We kind of went a little bit ballistic with the trains at some point in time. We did call the number of trains. We are only sitting at 2,265 trains at the moment. And we're only sitting at about 6,971 6, train stations. We used to have more than 10,000 train stations. But we kind of, kind of, kind of cut down of that. Is anyone beaten by without horrible UPS? Or is this what happens? Um, this one over here just happened because, well, we just stuck with our design choices. And... That's the thing. If you, if you don't pay attention early on in Pi and you get, like, bad habits, like, these things over here, these cost way too much UPS. This was a very stupid idea of me. And we have, like, millions of them. Well, not really millions, thousands of them. Thousands is actually correct. Uh, then you're going to pay the, the hefty UPS price. But let's start zooming out. So uh, we can zoom out a bit. We got the Coke machine over there. We got the blue cobalt stuff over there. We got golden guy over there. Peps is there. There's still a chromium mine over here for whatever reason, and more chromium over there. The Power Ranger worms are over there. Then we zoom out a little bit more, and then we got the raw fiber machine over there. We got alien bacteria over there. We got <laughs> the vanadium electrolyzer over there. Is that over there? Or did we make another one? I think we made another one. 
<laughs> we made another one. Good, good, good. Um, then we zoom out a little bit more. There we go. And we got the Wormer's Copper over there. We got the Delete went empty over there. Was this ever empty? No. <laughs> Yours has issues because of your design? Ab absolutely. Especially because we make intersections like these over here. Though these intersections are kind of fun. Uh, they did do work quite well, but, well, we got also way too many signals. Way too many signals. And let's zoom out a little bit more. Uh, and then uh, we already zoomed out way too much. There we go. There's the magnificent cow base. <laughs> the absolute magnificent cow base. <laughs> In diameter, give or take a little, it is about 6,000 by 4,000. So about 24 million square tiles. <laughs> and it's pure spaghetti madness. There's no city blocks in here. There's no sense of whatsoever in here. It is just spaghetti. <laughs> ultimate, ultimate train madness spaghetti. <laughs> Uh, at some point, there was like another uh, thing over here and then looked more like a cow, but yes. And with a little trains, no trains is the bot, exactly. <laughs> uh, we also got, where's the fish farm? The fish farm is over here for this one. There we go, it's a little fish cat farm. Though, this thing kind of seems stopped. No, it's backed up. It's probably broken. <laughs> There's so many things broken in the space. Uh, also, we got some random old builds over here. This one was... I'm not quite sure what this was. I think... Oh, uh, did we... I think we cannibalized the worms over here at some point in time. I was like, we need these worms for something else. And then we were like, yoink, mine! <laughs> uh, oh, God, the worms. The worms. Yeah, sodium sulfate was also a thing we needed quite a lot of. I remember that. We were always lacking over here. Always, always, always. Here we go, here we go. But yeah, over here, I mean, we can compare the biter settings. The biter settings over here are also kind of tame, but still enough, if we take a look at the pollution graph, blop. <laughs> oh boy, pollution. Uh, how many biters are we pissing off per minute? Um, like about five, four, four and a half thousand nests are being polluted per minute. Um, Yes. <laughs> good, 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 good. Also, where is he? Over there. Uh, this guy, he just gave up. <laughs> this guy just completely gave up. I don't think he's getting any kind of CPU time anymore to act. He's just sitting there surrounded by a whole bunch of power wires and pylons and everything. And he just sits there. <laughs> he completely gave up. What's this one over there? That is... Oh, that is us taking in the stone and turning it into sand because we need more sand. <laughs> also, the defenses are also... Yeah, I mean, defense-wise, we, we are being attacked, like, non-stop. Um, let's see. I think over here we got, like, some bigger piles. Yeah, there, there, there's, like, piles everywhere. Piles and piles and piles of dead biters. <laughs> because we are keep triggering them. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Slow up fight! <laughs> ah. I mean, you can hear the guns shoot like single bullets. They shoot 21 bullets per second? Yeah. Is this my first pyron? This was my first pyron. And the starter base, or the area of the starter base, was over here at some point in time. There's <laughs> still the starter, copper, the starter tin patch over there. And still, like, a salt mine over there. We had salt in the starting area over here. Come on! Ah. Red ammo versus BMOs. Yeah, we we're not really, really updating the ammo over here. Then again, uh, we do get all the upgrades, so it should be fine. We also got the flamer turrets, and we also got the laser turrets. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely fine. And then we got Ravenholm over here, which we just gave up at some point in time. This was mostly our big salt mine. Um, and I think a very big... I think this was iron over here. 
Iron and I think Rock Hall. There was a very, very, very big mine over here. And we just landfilled our way over there to get there. It made an outpost. And at some point it got overrun. And then they started to run in over here. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it, it was just completely broken. We were just like, we were like, nah. We're not going there anymore. We're being attacked over there. Good, 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 good. But yeah, that was the previous version of Pi. And before we go, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They should be over here somewhere, weren't they? There they are. Disco cats. <laughs> the poop machine. Uh, we also have the poop machine over here somewhere. That's the poop machine. There we go. We're going to have to make a similar poop machine at some point in time. But yeah, the, the base runs off a whole hecking load of poop. I mean, <laughs> fluids. Every minute. Every minute, 20 million water goes around. <laughs> Not quite sure where it goes, but every minute, 20 million. Per minute. <laughs> Every hour, that's like 1.3 gigs. <laughs> also, the tailings. Oh, God. Two million tailings. Oh. <laughs> Good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah, quit. This is still running on 1.146. There we go. Um, now we don't need updates. There you go. There we go. Good, 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 good. I hadn't realized I've only seen people playing with Pythons and even with Rampant Ones. Yeah, um, Wasations had the base of Pyanodons with Rampant Pythons, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how they managed that. And they never finished it. At some point, they, I think they just stopped because it was more work just maintaining the walls than actually making progress. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Good. Yeah. Let's keep on the work for there. So, yeah, with those. Yeah, pick them up. Come on, get in there. He took his base apart at some point and was rebuilding. Yeah, he did something like that. He at some point in time they they, they kind of came up with some decent ideas to keep the biters at bay, but rampant was just like completely and utterly overwhelming them. I mean, they usually had like walls that was like <laughs> a four layer thick row of laser turrets just to keep the biters away. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Good. Hmm. Did we ever make more of these? No, we did not. Yeah. Well, so be it. Um, we do have all the space over here to make more of these. So we're going to make more of these. <laughs> these are so big, actually. Wait a minute. We have to be careful about this thing over there. Yeah, let's place you over there. You over there. You over there. Uh, you over there. You make the iron, nexolid, antimony, special alloy. There we go. Actually, it's completely over. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, the other two we have to pick up from over there. That is fine. That is fine. Good. Uh, and then liquid inputs this way around on the sides. And then you also get liquid inputs over there. Then we'll be fine. And with this, we can at least triple the production because we are going to need that. Actually, do we need to triple it? We can probably make a ratio or something like that. Because the ritual eggs over there, we make like 0 0.2 per second. How much do we need of that? We need one every 15. Uh. <laughs> um, that is... Well, one every 10 is 0.1. One every 15 is... Uh, that is 50% less. So, point se one every 0.75? Yeah, let's get the calculator out because I'm being lazy today. Every 0 0.0666. Okay. And you're making like one every 10. And you need one every 15. You make one every five. So it already is a two to one ratio over here. Then we can 
then we can change this over here. If it's a two to one ratio, then we can at least go like four of these and two of those. That's definitely already an improvement. Um, and then we make them at the same rate. And then we just need to figure out how many uh, machines we need to turn them into the alloy. Then again, we probably don't really want to turn all of that in, into, into metallics because we do need the rich for something else or the rich for for something else, as well as the iron antimony next to the special alloy. So maybe just push it into one of these for now. Because uh, you're not very fast about it, but you are making it. So we should maybe do it different over here then. Don't do it like this. Well, do it like this and don't do it like that. Here we go. Let me pick you up. Then we're just going to go with like a row of four over here. Um, we do need to pick up these. There we go. <laughs> if you can ask how you calculated that, I didn't. <laughs> Usually when I calculate stuff, I look at the numbers and I assume I'm going to be correct. And most of the time, I'm not. <laughs> most of the time, I'm just lucky enough that I'm close enough that the answer is correct. Uh, but that's only most of the time, not always. Here we go, here we go. Now, we could, of course, run this over here on the Syngas. Oh, I broke it. One moment. There we go. But I don't really want to do that. Um, we do want to run the antimony belt over here. And we're going to use the belt for that because uh, it's, it's going to be so freaking slow. It doesn't really need to be any faster. Here we go, here we go. The antimony belt, that is over there. You just, just, just tear it apart. Ah, well, that's fine. This over there. Good, 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 good. You go under, you go under, you go in. What else do we need? Uh, then we need the next slot comes from downtown. And then we need the iron. The iron is also over here somewhere. There it is. And here's fine. Here we go. Pull, 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 pull. Good. We do got some long end inserters. Excellent. Man, Hexter. Hello there. Comes in and some scraps of Prime. How are you doing, mate? Thank you so much for that. Also, Axel Raven, thank you for the follow. Didn't give you the appropriate shout out yet. Here we go. Here we go. And then we only need one more thing, and that is the next slot. The next slot will be coming from the south. Uh, one thing we can do with the next slot, we can just get it in like this. Oh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. And actually, you can roll. It'll be fine. Next slot comes from over here. Here we go. Here we go. And then let's put down some power poles. This will do. And let's get that next slot in. That will at least um, quadruple our production of iron next slot antimony alloys, which is definitely something we should do. And you're fine. You hope you're all right too. I'm decent. <laughs> Had a bit of a weird week this week, especially yesterday. Yesterday was really, really weird. Um, I already talked a bit about it, but I don't think I went into the details yet. But uh, at some point in time, I kind of noticed that my server was acting up. So I went downstairs to check up on the server. Uh, and it had like three issues, like three issues at once. Usually you only have like one issue. This time I had like three at once. One of them was like the DNS server setup was completely broken. Uh, and it couldn't communicate to the outside anymore. And it was like, oh shit, well, that's an issue. Time to fix that. Then um, because I did the partial upgrade, I broke the system for a while. And I had to completely reboot it from like um, a boot drive and set up some new things manually. Uh, and while I was doing that, I kind of noticed that, or while I was mounting my, my hard drives um, manually, I kind of noticed that um, to, one of my drives of my um, of my RAID is broken. <laughs> so <laughs> I now have to buy a new hard drive as well. Probably a second one, because I kind of have the feeling that another one of them is also about to break. Uh, a Pi Hole? A Pi Hole is running on there as well. I mean, I, I run my Pi Hole in, uh, in a Docker container. Ah... Uh. Um, and yep, that's also, and then what's the other thing? 
Ah, a whole bunch of kind of shite. <laughs> Took me like all day yesterday and today to fix it. <laughs> no, it's my personal system. It's my personal system. And yeah, no, the RAID system is now running like with only five disks instead of six, but that's fine. It can do that. <laughs> but I should probably get a new drive for it soon. Here we go. Here we go. Good to do something like this. Uh, and actually, that is complete bullshit. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, do something like this. I'm quite sure where it will be going. It will be going somewhere. Mm. But yeah, actually, kind of surprised that the hard disk already failed. I mean, the hard disk, I bought them about a year ago, and one of them already failed. I mean, I did buy six hard disks in total in three batches. Like, I bought, like, packs of two from three different suppliers just to make sure that they don't all have the same hardware fault. <laughs> and, yeah, it's kind of surprising on me that, that one of the disks has already died. Here we go. Here we go. And pile out some odd issues like this filling up. Uh, I should probably also check in that. But then again, the the, 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 um, the Docker container it's running on is limited. So even if it fills up, it only kills itself. Good. So we need some burnable liquids over there. Um, do we have a train for that? Mm, well, we got a train for burnable liquids all the way over there. Ah, we could keep the same, pipe it over. Then again, this system over here is already a little bit finicky. It's already like also hooked up over there. I could rather have a new one. Then again, we are only using gasoline at the moment, but... Uh, hmm, hmm. We do need the train station either way for the output. That needs to go somewhere either way. And we could maybe try to make some more stations over here. Let's try if we can make another station down here. There we go, there we go. Let's see, let's see. Mm, is there enough space for a station? Nope. <laughs> Doc Spano. Hello there. How are you doing, mate? Nope. <laughs> um, that will work. You only had FA issues with Pile not using the local DNS. Yeah, I had the same issue. Um, I had the issue that, for whatever reason, and I'm still not quite sure why it is, but I have a workaround for now, which is not a workaround I like, but it kind of works. Um, where my local DNS, or my system, my, my, the system I'm currently on, uh, kind of forgot what this local, what, the, what this DNS server was. Like, it would process DNA, uh, DNS requests, like, um, fine for like 5 minutes or 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, it would forget its own DNS server, and then it would fall back to, like, whatever else is in the, in the fallback scenario. And then it would just never recover from that. And I'm still not quite sure what's going wrong over there. But for now, I just deactivated all kinds of pile DNS and everything. So basically, uh, the whole pile is not doing anything. So that's fine. But it's it's not really the solution I want. Here we go. Here we go. Pick a tree. Here we go. Uh, we need... Well, that's... With Great Factory, I had the ghosting of building mechanic, uh, where the building that hides the player when you're behind them. Yeah. You can hide so easily in Pi. <laughs> but we're not hiding behind happy tanks. Can we actually hide behind the happy tank? Mm, a bit, a bit, a bit. Good. Where's the lead? The lead is over here somewhere as well. Uh, over there. You kind of ended up disabling it as well. Yeah, I probably have to take like a good day time to figure out what's going on over there. Which is just going to be annoying. But at least afterwards, uh, I will have a good solution for it. <laughs> you haven't looked at it for months now? Oh boy. <laughs> good, 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 good. So, we got some stations over here. Uh, this could be the liquids. Yeah, we might need some other liquid over here as well. Sure, let this be the liquid. Mm. Here we go, here we go. Um, then, do I have any pumps on me? Actually, 
actually, I don't. There we go. Is it a pile thing or yours being given to grief too? It might just be a pile thing. But then again, I'm, I'm not running my pie hole on the Raspberry Pi. I'm running my pie hole in my Docker container. Where my bot is also running on. Which was also the reason why I kind of wanted to fix that. Because if the bot is not working, then you guys are raging. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, just forget to say the DNS never had that. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of annoying when it happens. Because you don't really realize what's going on until you kind of like debug into it. And debugging DNS is just like, oh, what the fuck? Like my, my internet box I have over there, my internet box I can also use for like DNS stuff. And it has like two different values or two different fields where I can edit like DNS settings and then go like, oh, what the hell? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, here we go. Connect it up. Some pumps for the long line? Uh, maybe. Let's set it up first. You over there. Jasper G. Nielsen. No, you are going to be a liquid fuel requester. Here we go. Coming or not. Just SSH to domain name. Uh, to domain name <laughs> the, 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 the really weird thing is, uh, I mean, that's also the really thing about uh, DNS. I mean, when it works, you get like all your requests and your system kind of remembers it for a while. So you can still interact with websites and you don't really notice that in the background your DNS has broken down. But then you go to like a random site and suddenly everything breaks and you go like, uh, what? Why? Ah, uh, yeah, I had, I had a lot of fun trying to figure that one out. Yeah, let's put the pump over here. Good. Um, you should have everything. Oh. <laughs> There's no building over here. Um. There's no recipe in here. What the hell? There we go. There we go. How much do we need? Okay, you do need quite a bit of iron plate, actually. Ooh. That's surprising. Uh, we got four of them, so that's 28 iron plate every 20. That is about one per second. Well, a little bit over one per second, but I guess that's fine. Good. But now we're definitely making more of the iron next to the alloy. We could... Yeah, we could pick up these two over here now. Make the retro legs somewhere else. There we go. Then everything we make over there can go to gunpowder. There we go. Uh... Yeah, let's maybe try making that stuff over here somewhere. Good. You make this, you make that. And um, a CCI exam in two days. Um, day one, building the network. <laughs> Go back to the hotel, night one. People fuck your network up for good. <laughs> day two, is fixing and starting it over. Oof. Uh, now, I actually have to go uh, at some point this year. And we're still figuring out when the point will be. I actually have to go to like a little bit of a... What do you call it? In Germany, we have this absolutely amazing word called Fortbildung. But basically, my employer is paying me to get smarter. And it will probably be a week in Hamburg or something like that. I'm, I'm actually thinking about going for the week in Hamburg because why not? It's way more fun up there. <laughs> and just like be in Hamburg for like a week. Especially in the summer, then it's not too, too rainy over there. Here we go. Skill enhancement. Oh, yeah, that, that sounds better. Still. Still sounds a bit horrible, but it definitely sounds better. Here we go. Okay, you're going over there. You're going over there. That's done. What else do we need? Uh, the copper, the nickel, and the titanium. And the duralamine. That's why we have this belt over here. Mm, sure. Do this one. It's been a week of Hamburg uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, they, they do have this, well, not really famous, but they got a very prominent uh, place up there that does that kind of stuff. Okay, we're missing, we're missing chromium of all things. What the hell? Let's go pick up some chromium. Ah. Uh, 
in August, and that weekend was the most rain recorded in the city in a single day. Oof. <laughs> Good, Chromium is over here. It's not too far away. Yeah, some blocks of Chromium. Good, good, good. Pick it up, please. And yeah, pick up two. And yeah, make some more power poles while we're at it. Pick up some more. So basically, it was swimming while walking <laughs> for the almost entire day. Yeah, I mean, the north of Germany can be very weird. Sometimes it can be like the best weather in the summer, and sometimes it can just be ice cold and raining. I remember one wacken open air that's basically also in the region of Hamburg. It's a little bit further north of that. Where it was so cold and rainy. It, it basically rained all week while, while we were there. And we basically took our um, our grill, like, like our, our coal grill, and instead of cooking meat on it, we used it to heat up the tent. <laughs> well, like, like, like not a small sleeping tent, it was a big tent. Uh, where there was enough ventilation so that the smoke wouldn't uh, stay in there. So that was safe. But still, we, we basically used the grill to heat up the tent. <laughs> because it was that freaking cold. And some people actually had, like, uh, glue wine. <laughs> Which kind of meant we were drinking glue wine, like, all week. <laughs> okay, small parts over there. There we go. Make these. Uh, this could put some meat on the air. Yeah, but we weren't really that hungry. It was, was most of the time it was like, <laughs> like, like that thing was running like 24/7. Like every now and then somebody would put something on there. That's true. But that thing was running 24/7, just heating up the tent. <laughs> okay, and then we need the nickel. That's over there. And you know what? I'm just gonna, we're gonna go this way. There we go. That doesn't exist anymore. Here we go. Here we go. All the way around, please. There we go. Good. Up we go. Over we go. That didn't work. And then... And we're here. Good, 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 good. Uh, you're missing power. You are definitely, absolutely missing power. And then also connect up the other sides. There we go. That should be fine. And then you get an output. You get an output. Just push it together. Push it in the chest for now. Put the loader in front of it. There we go. We're now making it in the perfect ratio. We don't really need to reach relax too much, but we at least now have a little reach relax built over there, as well as an iron niobium alloy built. The iron alloy, iron niobium alloy built, not niobium, iron nickel antimony. Good God! <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some lamps. Yeah, we should put some lamps in here. Here we go. Uh, yeah, there's, there's there's a whole bunch of alloys in this game, and I will probably be mispronouncing them all the time. Here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. Uh, it seems you're missing something. What are you missing? The titanium. Oh shit, yes, we're missing titanium. <laughs> um, that is very true. That is over here. Here we go. Well, one more belt. Um, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not how this works. Um, we need something over the air, and we need something over the air. That'll be fine. And not over there. You need to be over there. You need to be over there, and then. That works. Over here, it's a little bit easier. There we go. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. How much do we make? One per ten. So we make 0.4 per second. Well, 
That's what we have to do then. At least we're making the at least I only stack up 200. So filling up a train with this will not be too hard, but it's gonna take some time. Good. Um at some point in time we're also gonna rebuild the something stupid is happening over there. <laughs> um I don't think that's meant to be happening over there. What was this belt? That was the belt of iron niobium, uh, the, the iron antimony nexlet uh, alloy. <laughs> Cause up, hello there. How are you doing? Oh, we have to pick it all up. Come on, be faster about it. Oh, okay. Let's be. Let's be proactive. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Done. And then the back end. Here we go. Good. Lovely. <laughs> Add some money oxide. Uh, so much of it. We can probably dump it in there. Server room up after 40th birthday two days ago. Oof. Congratulations, my man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. You guys keep making that. I'll be back for that soon. Uh, we're going to make a train station at some point in time where we're going to be picking up this stuff. But for now, just keep smelting it. We're going to focus on something else next. And that thing is... Let's have a quick peek over here at the food machine. Uh, wow. I'll be damned. Things like guts, skin, all the animal products are kind of backing up. So what's holding you back? Nothing is holding you back. You're actually working at full speed. That's what's happening over here. Huh. Sure. Here. Could you bring that food over? So that we could make some more of this stuff over there. Uh, that seems fine. That seems fine. Uh, we might have to think about how we do the Digosaurus food. But for now, we're going to just send that uh, that train over manually every now and then. It should be fine. Oh, Herobos. Hello there. How are you doing? Good. Back up to the solidified Sarkoros then. So we got the Iron Niobium Alloy. That thing will be done at some point in time. We should probably pick up everything we need to make a couple. I can make two trains in my pocket right now. Let's do that. We're going to need, well, at least two new trains. Probably a couple new trains. Um, since we need one for the circuits, we are going to need one for... Uh, what's it called again? Um, for the alloy, one for... Was there fish in there? I'm not quite sure. We will figure it out soon. Good. Of course, the production over here will slow down at some point in time as soon as we start this thing up, but that will be fine. That will be fine. Okay, we need one for the fuel. We need... We need nothing for the moss. We need nothing for the rubber. Rubber is coming in over here via belt. Perfect. Optical sets we're making on sides. Yeah, the simple circuits and the antimony alloy we will bring, bring in via belt. And for that... Then we'll be going through here. No, oh, that's going to take some time. Okay, bots, do that while we take a look at these machines. Uh, hot air is a train we already have available, so that should be pretty straightforward. Ah, you still need some some pressurized air. No problem. Um, did, did I not make those already? I kind of have the feeling I already made some of these. Yeah, there they are. In there, pressurized air. You make pressurized air at a rate of 20 per second. You need pressurized air at a rate of 10 per second. Perfect. Hot air via a train? Yes. Did we not make a hot air train? I'm pretty sure we made a hot air train. We have a hot air train. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. We might need more of a glass production over there. We also need to get the poop over, but the poop will be coming over... I guess my uh, belt. I do want a big, long, poopy belt. That's, that just sounds fun. All right, bots, be faster about it. Oh, is there a cliff in the way? No, it looks like a cliff in the way. Cute. Yeah, pick them all up. There we go. There we 
There we go. Else is still going to be very hot when it arrives. Uh, it's come to the thermal scan. It will be fine. It will be fine. The thermal scan can do everything. Keep in mind, uh, always, always boil some water and put it in the thermal scan in case you need it. And just to be sure, put it in the freezer. Then it will stay. Uh, <laughs> then it will stay warm longer. <laughs> Good. Here we go. Get rid of all of this. We are almost out of belt. Oof. There we go. And by almost out of belt, I mean we are out of belt. There we go. All right. Supplies. Supply. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How much is in there? Not that much. Store the hot water in the freezer for later use? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, there's also a train out of fuel. Um, oh, I know which one of this. And he's not out of fuel. Uh, he's full of ash. There he is. All right, all right. We put one down over here. Yeah, once you arrive over there, that's the power. You over there, Ash. Whitelist. There we go. And now it goes out again. We probably have an Ash belt over here somewhere, don't we? The Her. definition is in somewhere. There's an Ash belt all the way on top. Oh, but I don't have any belt on me. Okay, you know what? Future bolts problem. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> there we go. Done. Also, bots, could you stop fixing random things in my base, please? I, I like when things are broken. I put a lot of effort in breaking them. Please don't fix them for me yet. Good, 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 good. Ah... Okay, that just, just looks weird. Okay, I see. Um, belt. We need loads and loads of belts. We also got a whole bunch of stuff in my pocket that we don't need at the moment. We can just drop that in here, for example. There we go. Uh, we are keeping the stone on us. We're probably going to need that, but we don't need those things. We don't need this. And we definitely don't need the barrels. There we go. Good. Belt. I'll take the chest. That's probably a little bit too much belt. I'll take this chest as well. That's probably enough belt for a while. What else do we need? We probably do kind of want to make maybe a couple more trains if possible. For that, we mostly need Duralamine. Mostly need Duralamine. There we go. There we go. Ooh. We're actually still getting some of the more basic research done. We do have... We can't do this one yet. We can't do this one yet. But we can do basic mining speed increase. Hurr. I mean, we're kind of running out of tech over there. Wait a minute. There's still one over here. What is this one? That is... Oh, make iron out of blood. Make iron out of foggies. Make chlorine out of um, guts. And make tin out of... Um, out of meat. Sure, why not? Put that in there, please. Here we go. Here we go. Then, Duralamine. How about the gasoline over there? The gasoline over there is slowly going down. Excellent. <laughs> that will help us out in the future. There we go. Duralamine. And make a wagon. And then it's mostly steel that we're missing. But that is fine. We got steel right over there. Also, pleasantly surprised to see... Well, I guess there was only a stone shipment. Um, yeah, stone still has a couple of issues. Mostly because kerogene over here is backing up. Yep. How is the kerogene machine doing over here? Um, kerosene is still fine. Gasoline is completely, utterly full. And because the gasoline is full, we're not really processing kerogene fast enough. Then again... Ah, you're being loaded up, I see. Good. Here we go. Uh, make another two wagons. And then for another train, we need some glass. Glass is right over here. Good. We need... Do we need another liquid train? 
One for the hot air, one for the fuel, one for... Is there anything else up here? One for fuel, one for hot air. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Perfect. So we don't need to make any liquid containers. Though we do have a third station over here. What is the third station then? Am I missing something? Am I forgetting something? Or did I overthink something? I probably overthought something. Green circuits, yes, but but I plant a third liquid station over here. What's the third liquid for? Hmm. Maybe I did count the molten glass at some point in time and was like, yeah, we need to import that as well. But actually, we don't. So, green circuit train. Um, niobium train. <laughs> um, lab train. We have the lab train. That one exists. Mm -hmm. The saline water train. That's the third one. But we have the one as well. Okay, either way, I think we have more than enough components in our pockets to make what we need in terms of trains. Good, 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 good. We got the belt, we got the inserters, we got the power poles. Let's string some more things together. Here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. Also, this bottle is in a worse position because he can't see my magnificent beard. There we go. <laughs> we also still got like 68,000 kerosene over there for, for like dark times or whatever. Um, Good. Maybe at some point in time I'll just put the pipe in there or try to pump it over to where the, the, the power plant is. Maybe that will be fine. Uh, Yeah, we're going to walk. We're basically there. The place we're looking for is right over there. Good, 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 good. So, liquid power, belts, everything else. Yes. Let's start over here. This way, please. And then this way, please. Now, you can't build the belt straight through the forest. Um, for some reason, they took out the clipping of the belts. But I don't really like doing that. I mean, come on. We can chop a tree or two. It'll be fine. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That'll be good. And it'll be good. Perfect. And then... Let's try to go under the names because... Well, we like the names. Good. And all the way to the back. There we go. That'll be number one. Then I'll be number two. Number three will be over here. And number four just goes this way. Good. Um, well, we could call these two trains up, but they don't exist yet. So, well, nothing much to do over there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Except placing some signals over here because we're going to need them. And then we also need some signals over here. That should be fine. We also... Oh, we're missing a whole train station over here. What the hell? Um, here we go. I, I do have to admit now that we have loader capacities or loader capabilities for these train stations. These train stations look a very, very, very sad a bit. I kind of liked it when you have like all these inserters around like a train station and they go like, here, put stuff in, put stuff in, put stuff in. And now it's just like, here, have a loader. <laughs> mop, 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 mop. Well, then again. Yeah, they, they, they look a bit... They don't look impressive enough. Train stations need to be big. Train stations need to be screaming at us, going like, here, I'm a train station. Here we roar. That's convenient and boring. <laughs> uh, let's let's just maybe think about it a little bit. Maybe, maybe at a later point in time, we find, like, a good idea about it. 
I mean, uh, the bigger the train is, the more impressed the station will look automatically. Uh, I've already seen that in my K2SE playthrough, where I made like a station with loaders and it looked very impressive. But for these one ones, it's just like mop, 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 mop. <laughs> I mean, you can still use the inserters, but why would I? Here we go. Here we go. And a buffer request. So, oh, yeah, we do need a buffer. Do we need a buffer for this? I, I'm not going to be putting in a buffer in here. And my reasoning for this... Oh, actually, we do need to put a buffer in here. Shit. Uh, yeah, we need a buffer. And let's do that right away. Um, well, oops, that was a little bit too much. But even with a buffer, it will still look a bit like... Hmm. Maybe we just need like a bigger or wider belt. Give me like a 4x4 belt or something like that. Yeah, that will, that will fix it. <laughs> Does look a bit better now, especially if we start adding these things over here as well. Oh, um, well, that's why we want to have the power over there in the summit. Here we go. If we start adding these over here, then it will look even better. And then add some wire to it. Yeah, that's starting to look better. Okay, okay, now it looks a little bit more like a train station. <laughs> or six loaders per wagon. <laughs> I mean, yes, if you want to unload it instantly. I mean, for some of these stations, we do have multiple loaders going out. Just because I want to empty it out as fast as I can. But, well, it kind of all depends on how fast you're going out on the belt over there, either way. But, yeah, sure, emptying out the train faster, why not? Uh, you are waiting to go over. That is fine. Something is blocking you. Who's blocking you? Ah, you're being blocked from over. Now that that should not matter actually. Oh, is that the Nixler train? Oh, I wasn't expecting the Nixler train to come down. We should probably make um. A block over here. <laughs> Just straight up here can leave a little bit earlier. Um, good, good, good. Perfect. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get more of the resources up. One of these will be lamps. Oh god, lamps! There will be so many lamps on this belt. <laughs> There's gonna be so many lamps on this belt. Here we go, here we go. Okay, lamps, where did they go? The lamps go into this machine, I think. Yep. Here, have a lamp. And then the last physical object, where does the last physical object go into? Eh. Yeah. It's not this. It's not that. It's not this. The small parts, of course. We made the small parts system at some point in time. There we go. There we go. Good, and that will be all the way over there. Do we already have the small parts train? We do! Perfect! Okay, let's set it up. So, this over here is the small parts that will be you. You there. Pepper Peps. <laughs> what an amazing name. Uh, small parts. Requester. Here we go. Then, small parts. How full is the train? A train shipment is 4,000 small parts. Okay, you're only going to open up if whatever's in there is less than, say, 500. Then you're going to open up. Here we go. And then, set the train limit. 
good. Let's get to the small parts train. He's sitting over there. You go to the small parts provider. You go to the small parts requester. Full cargo. Empty cargo. Love it. There we go. Then that will be you. Yes. You over there. This is the lamp one. Mm. Lamps stack up to 50. So I guess if there's like less than, say, 50 lamps in here, which is already pretty generous. Uh, you open up. Pepper Pamps, no, your name is going to be Lamp Requester. Here we go. Set train limit. Good. Uh, and actually, wait a minute. Aha. And we have to set a condition over here that this station over here closes. Good. Uh, you over there, we can already set you up if we want to. You are going to be... It doesn't really matter um, if this one is the Iron or Yobi or the Circuits. Both are available. Uh, iron, Niobium, it's probably in here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. One, one. Requester. It's a train limit. It stacks up to... Well, this thing over here, also kind of expensive to stuff. So, we're only going to open up this station. Where is that stuff? There it is. If you like. That's the platform. Actually... Come on, Bolt. Use the correct signal. There we go. There uh, we go. And laughing so hard. Hello there. We're kind of finishing up this place over here, finally. Uh, we did some tweaks. We made some more iron, niobium, nexolate alloy over here. And it's iron antimony. God damn it. <laughs> so we increased the production over here. Also, we increased the production of rich relax over there. Because we need that. It still needs to go on the train. But that will be coming at some point in time. We're going to need some more train stations over here somewhere. Probably actually over here. It will be fine if we put them over there, because the alloy over here has to go over here either way. So we might as well make the stations over there. Good, 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 good. And we also need to set up the green circuit train over there. And oh boy, circuits. That circuit train is going to be expensive. Also, I'm kind of... Oh, you're still working. <laughs> you're still working. We do need to expand the circuit build at some point in time. Uh, Pepper Paps? No, your name is going to be... Do we already have that? No, we never named the other one. Uh, over there. Simple circuit. 1-1. One, one. Requester. There we go. Set the limit. We're done over there. The limit over here, same as this one. Actually, maybe same as this one. If it's really running out, bring more. And Fallen Angel. Hello there! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then Felix Fichte. No, sorry. Wrong name. You're Mr. Provider over there. Good, 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 good. That thing over there is already set up accordingly. Um, do we have a fuel belt over here? We do have some coke over there. We might as well set this up so that we can refuel these trains over here. I mean, it will save us some, some grief in the future if we do it already. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, do you prefer trains or bots? Bots? Oh, I mean, bots are really, really good for short-range transport. I mean, every tool has its own use. I mean, bots are very good for short-range transport. Especially if you got, like, wacky short-range transport. And we definitely got wacky short-range transport if we're going to start building or, or automating the, the buildings that we need to to make stuff. Um, bots are also very good if you want to transport a low amount of very expensive things. For example, if we want to make, later on, if we want to make... Let's have a look. Where's a good example? Mm, also, time processor... Yeah, this one, for example. If we want to make a chemical plant, we do want to make, or we do have to make a destructive distillation column. I don't want to put destructive distillation columns on a belt. It makes no sense. Those are perfect for bots. But things like the glass, the small parts, the copper, and the iron, we might want to put that on the belt. Then again, we're probably not going to do that, but yes. Um, hey, Basinjo! Hello there! How are you doing? Yeah, I'm... Um, Bots have their benefits in certain conditions. Belts have the benefits in certain conditions. Belts, you can always belt something. Putting down the belt of something is usually not that bad of an idea. 
But the longer the belt is, the longer the belt buffer is. And those things can become ludicrously high. And it sometimes can take like seemingly forever if you want to back up on a belt. So the longer you make the belt, the bigger the belt buffer is. And then you're going to have uh, that as an annoying factor. Though, again, for low density items, big belt buffers are still quite good. Uh, and then, of course, trains. Well, if you want to transport something over a long distance, as far away as you can, then belts, of course, are the best. And not belts, um, um, trains are, of course, the best. Also, they do allow you to reuse, like, certain tracks for multiple products, which you don't really can do with belts as well. So it's, it's, it's more or less like, depending on what you want to do, pick the correct tool. But trains, definitely trains by, by far. <laughs> trains are my favorite. Here we go. <laughs> Moving things by hand is obviously the best. I mean, you are the fastest insert in the West. I mean, if you have like a big warehouse, control click on it and you pick up everything and then click on it again and put it somewhere else. No insert that can be as fast as that. <laughs> oh God, uh, no. Oh. Good. Um, do we have an ash belt over here? Urgh. Well, we could maybe just plonk it in over there. Does this ash belt still come back on itself? Uh. <laughs> yes, it does. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> that's definitely a thing. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think we can just put this ash over here in a chest. I think it will be fine. Here we go. Here we go. Good. And then we can figure it out later. Perfect. So now we can also refill the trains over here. Excellent. Um, you don't have a train yet. No. But we can put down the train for you. Here we go. And then you get that. And then you also don't got the train yet. You're also going to get the train. Here we go. Here we go. You there. You pick up circuits. You deliver circuits. Full cargo. Empty cargo. How much fuels in you? Yeah, that should be enough. Go get them. I think there's plastic and latex. Oh, uh, wait, there's plastic or latex on the ash belt. On which one? On this one? Or do you mean on this one over there? Oh, this thing over there. <laughs> yeah, there is a piece of plastic over here. Where did you come from? Um, It must have snuck through at some point in time. But, but I don't see any contamination over here. And um, we probably just picked it up at some point in time. Good, 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 good. Uh, you put down some more lamps. Yeah, okay. Now, now the stations at least look a little bit more impressive. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Circuits will be coming in soon. Uh, for the other alloy, we still have to put in some work. We still also have to put in the work for the seaweed farms. Uh, we're going to place them over there. That's a good place for them. Missing underground on the station ash on the left. You mean this one? There's an underground. Next to Tree Sea Farm. Wait, what? <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure it's just behind the station, but yeah. Sometimes it's kind of hard to spot. Good. Seaweed farms. And we're just going to make them over here. Here we go. Make a very basic seaweed farm. We only got one recipe either way, so might as well just use this one. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, bots. Do my bidding. And get rid of those trees in there as well. Good. Ah, oh, come on. Get in there. 
Good, 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 good. So the seaweed farm doesn't really, really require anything. The only thing we need to require is add water. Uh, we got water over there, so that will be fine. And then the seaweed will be coming out. I hope that's enough seaweed. We didn't really do any kind of calculation if that is actually enough seaweed or not. But then again, we already know that the machine we're building does not really require to be running at full power either way. So it should be fine. I'm also completely out of pipe. Um, but our mole's right over there. So let's pick up some pipe. Yep. Hang on. Wasn't the person at Port Boost Science? No. Yeah, well, actually, yes. They moved it up. It's no longer Blue Science. It's now um, Green Science. And I think you start off, if you now start a new Pi map, I think you start off with the personal robot port and some basic equipment. Um, just so that you can more or less build a little bit easier at the beginning. But then again, it's still kind of tremendously hard to do anything in this game. <laughs> The show must go on. Yes, please. The show must go on. The show costs about 50 cents every two hours. Actually, no, 50 cents per yeah, per two hours. Because that's what my power bill is at the moment. <laughs> Actually, kind of insane when you think about that. 50 cents every two hours, give or take a little. If my system over here, my whole setup over here, is eating half a kilowatt, which I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, currently paying 50 cents per kilowatt hour. So every two hours, it's 50 cents. So every stream costs about two to three euros to make. Expensive. <laughs> we'll need a sub a day to survive on that. <laughs> Your setup is above that. I'm not quite sure how high my setup is actually. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really want to know that. I mean, what is this? Three monitors, big PC over here. Though the GPU, the, the power supply is 850 watts, but that does not mean that we are consuming 850 watts all the time. We're consuming less. Uh, and we should probably also not consume more than that. Um, because then the power supply would give out. There we go. There we go. If it's anything like K2, I think you can start off with like 10 little ground robots to help with construction. Yeah. All right. So you're being filled up. Excellent. One per C, so 10 per C's <laughs> don't affect my power bill. <laughs> Let me guess, you don't you don't pay for power? Oh. If that's so, put down a mining cluster. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> if you don't pay for power, put one down. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, what else do we need? It's all part of your rent, really. But surely there must be some kind of calculation in there that, that just looks how much power you use and then they like calculate it out of there. A 50 uh, cents per kilowatt? Yes. I was also kind of surprised by that. I mean, I got that mail yesterday. I actually still have the right somewhere. Oh, like it's over there now. Um... What does it say? That is... Yeah, here. Ihre Strompreisanpassung inside. Blah, blah, blah. Starting on February 1st, um, yeah, we will increase your price by 14.26 cents per kilowatt. Huh? <laughs> but there is some good news. The, the, the government is working on something, yada, 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 yada. Then on the back over here it says, uh, current price 35.666 cents, new price 49.92. Fuckers. <laughs> uh, I might actually have to take a look at uh, one of those other power supply, or not power supply, but, but power uh, companies. <laughs> Maybe something is cheaper. <laughs> a funny story about powers and PC. Uh, when we were younger, my brother and you were building some of your first PCs, which is some random parts your dad had uh, around. In front of us, bro, looked at the EU, uh, US EU power switch on this power supply and went, oh, what does this do? Flipped it and, oh, go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a difference in system, in power systems between EU and um, America. <laughs> yeah, 
End of the month, Germany pushed our Swedish prices up 10 times this year, uh, 10 times earlier this year. So, oof. Yeah, I also kind of hope it's only like a temporary thing. Um, I'm, I can't ask my buddy, but my, my best buddy is working for like the, the utility companies um, as a network. Well, not really a network manager. He is like a uh, Preisleiter, which is pretty much basically a pretty high role. Let's put it like that. <laughs> And rent includes water, power, heating. Have to pay extra for shitty Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pay the council tax, but 540 in total per month. Most places here take 600 without bills. Ooh. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Good. But then again, I would probably not, like, overdo it on the power bill. Because I, I guess if you overdo it, they will probably come back to you and go, like, hey, Sir Welshi, yes. Why is there a data center in your, in your, in your living room? Well... <laughs> And why is it all running on the shitty Wi-Fi? How did you manage to do that? Well... <laughs> Bereist like the middle manager? Uh, something like that. Yeah, more or less middle manager. Middle manager is good. If someone else, the server makers were eating. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mm. I got distracted. What were we doing? Shit. Pipes. We needed pipes. That was the thing we wanted to get over here. Pipes. We got enough belts. Probably pick up some undergrounds while we're here. Um, some pipe to underground. Because why not? Um, what is with the engine machine? What are you missing? You're missing aluminum. Oh. No, we don't have any aluminum on us. <laughs> there used to be an aluminum belt over here. We should probably give you some aluminum. Because we do need some engines every now and then. Good, good, good. Grumpy Old Gamer, 8 cents per kilowatt over there because there's lots of wind power available at the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if it varies, it's also kind of annoying. I mean, it's good when it's cheap, sure, but, well... When there's no wind and suddenly it goes up, that's also kind of annoying. Yeah, I mean, at least the power price is stable. That, that is true, but... Oof. <laughs> oof. <laughs> Fair enough. I have a look at it later. Yeah, maybe maybe there is a better better, uh, better place to get my power from. But then again, usually, like... As far as... If we're, I've already looked into it, like, like a couple of weeks, a month or even ago. Like, usually, your local utility company usually has the best price. And we... I mean, I can switch probably over to, like, another power company, but I don't think they can match the prices. But then again, let's see. Let's see. You never know. You never know. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we'll make engines again. Not sure. Wait, if there's a thing of modern day power supply from several years ago. Uh, the power supply we had uh, at the time was very small switch on the backside, plugged into a port. Yeah, I do remember seeing power supplies like that. Usually, after a while, after people, after they kind of noticed that people would be pushing the switch from the outside, they kind of moved the switch to the inside. I'm pretty sure the power supply I've installed in my PC over here has the same switch on it still, where I can switch it over to, like, American power, which I should never do. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, we also need to make some moss. Mm, here we go. For that, we need some soil. Soil, soil, soil. We have that thing. You can do it once. Yes. The same as with slim, uh, swimming in lava. You can do that once without any kind of consequences. But not the second time. <laughs> here we go. We got a chest full of soil over here. There we go. That should be fine. What else have we missing? Bricks. Aluminum. Oh, I put it all in the chest. Aluminum. Iron. Air core inductors and a whole bunch of bricks. Here we go. Aluminum. Let's eat you again. Nom 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 nom. Bricks, bricks, bricks. That's glass pane. Um I don't think we're making bricks over there. No, we're not making bricks over there. We're making that straight out of stone. Hmm. I do see quite the amount of stone going down the belt, at least. But that could just be a shipment of, of rock we're walking about after. Never mind. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at this. The belt of stone bricks is completely backed up. 
And then this happened. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'll take that. And then the only thing we need is some iron plates. Yeah, let's eat some more. Here we go. Mifflelof! Hello, my man. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the lovely raid. Hello, hello, and hello, you lovely viewers of Mifflelof. We all know Mifflelof. Um, am I following him? Mifflelof, Mifflelof, Mifflelof. Uh, now I'm following. <laughs> Mifflelof. Let's see. A magnificent, absolutely brilliant Factorio player. Definitely plays a whole bunch of Factorio. Absolutely has a magnificent big bushy beard and has no hair on her head. Uh, or something like that. <laughs> Mifflelof, thank you so much for the lovely raid. Guys, go check out Mifflelof. I'm pretty sure she's bloody amazing. Get over there. Leave her a follow. Let's have a look. How big is the channel? There we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Ooh, lovely. Here we go. Decided to play Factorio again, made the mess, are you proud of it? That's the best way to play Factorio. Don't don't even think about making something nice, just make a mess of it. It'll be fine. I mean, the more messier your base is, the more interesting it is to look at. I mean, if you've got like one of those very, very sane looking grid bases, well, I find them to be boring, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Uh, we got the moss over here. We need some more moss off the belt. There's moss on the belt over here. Here we go. Here we go. The spaghetti monster's proud. Lovely. I mean, do feed a spaghetti monster. You never know what it will end up being into. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's way too much moss. But we now have enough moss uh, so that we can make what we need. What else do we need? Mm, we do need a source of steam. We can, for steam, we can use our oil burgers over there. Here we go. Here we go. So, Mifflelof, what have you been playing? Vanilla? Modded? Um, vanilla and modded together? That, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> or maybe one of the challenge modes. Ooh. Unless you already said it over there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. No, I don't see anything there. Here we go. And obviously, every now and then, I consider trying to make a nice clean base and then I forget one mad recipe or material for a recipe and then you build halfway across. I see. And vanilla, pure vanilla, you need to learn the base game before you add mods. Oh, that's that's a perfect choice. The base game is so much fun. I had so much fun making that big SPM base we made like last year at some point in time. We did stop at 5,400 because after that it kind of became a bit repetitive. Um, because once you basically have a build for like one blue belt of science, then the build for two blue belts of science as well. Uh, pretty much the same. <laughs> But I did enjoy making massively, massively, massively big things. I always love enjoying massively, massively big things. It's just so much fun. Um, I'm pretty sure that should be enough for Steam. I didn't really calculate how much we need. We're just going to take this. While we're at it, we still do need two of these boys over there as well. For that, we need some copper. Here we go. That should be fine. And do we need any additional washing machines? No. I think we got most of the stuff that we need. Let's see if we can build the thing we want to make. Here we go. Here we go. Last time you gave up because the biters scare you. Uh, but after Pete's uh, red team, they no longer scare you. Yeah, I mean, if you're not prepared for the biters at the beginning, they, they can pretty much overwhelm you. Um, especially if you don't know how to deal with them early. But a turret already does wonders. Eating fish non-stop basically makes you an immortal being. Um... Or, if you really want to wait it out, just nuke them. <laughs> yeah, my last pie stream, or my last pie base was like 2,500 trains. No, it was not 8,000 trains. <laughs> it was 2,500. <laughs> but it was definitely big. Definitely, definitely big. And we were running at like absolute terrible UPS values. Good. Um, you're still missing a train. For that, we still need... Well, how full are you, Ned? Okay, 13. Where are we getting there? We can almost think about making that station. Then, the circuits have arrived. So, you are basically almost done. The optical sets over here only need the molten glass and the hot air. Good. You need the rubber from the rubber stoppers. That's over there. You need the laboratory equipment and the petri dishes and everything else. You do need the Zogna bacteria. That is a thing that goes over here. There we go. That should be fine. 
Man, you still need a shipment of poop. We're going to be do working on that soon. You are going to need steam. You're going to need a liquid to burn off. Um, so how about we make one of these, say, right over there. Just hook them up one to one. And then we go all the way over there. Gonna take care of some things around the house. Oh, mate, have fun over there. Here we go, here we go. And then we also need the fuel over here. That should be fine. Good, we still need hot air. Is there a hot air recipe for molten glass? Sadly, there is not. Well then, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Mm. Here we go, here we go. You don't get it? You made it a second a Twitch account for your mobile? Named Friendly? <laughs> Got banned the next day. Yeah, sometimes when you make a weird name, you get kind of banned for it. Um, I mean, we have a story about that. Like, like my very first actual subscriber who was not somebody uh, I know uh, was Mr. Peske Masturbator, 6969. An absolutely amazing name. <laughs> That's also the reason why we have this fish over there. Uh, and also, at some point, he, he's not really that often on Twitch. Every now and then he comes in, but he's mostly doing something else, I guess. Um, but either way, um, he came back after like a year or two and immediately got banned. <laughs> For his name. And everybody's like, what? What happened? Oh. And he actually got his name back at some point in time, but it, it was a bit weird. <laughs> It can happen quite fast, actually. Just, just sit there and suddenly, boom. Banned because of a name. Dang. Good. Uh, hot air. Let's see. I guess we go down over here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All the way down over there. Perfect. That is hot air over there done. We don't need more hot air over there. We do have more hot air over here as well as liquid fuel. But we're going to pass through the fuel over here. Yeah, place over there. And then there was the whole Twitch butt purge of 2016. I wasn't on Twitch before that. I mean, I started my channel and I actually started actively going onto the Twitch website or the online platform, however you want to call it, um, in 2019. Before that, I never really touched Twitch that much. It was more like, yeah, Twitch is a thing. And then that pretty much was it. Was it. Mm, here we go, here we go, here we go. Did watch the occasional Twitch VOD on YouTube of random people, but, well, <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. There we go. Okay, that's more liquids going this way. We can't go through there anymore. There's a pipe in the way. Threw it in the Discord? Uh, let's have a look. Where's the thing? Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> we had a legit company-wide meeting about the Great Butt Perch. <laughs> <laughs> just split them apart split those butt cheeks apart yes absolutely the butt perch wait a minute oh that's not what they meant well that's how I interpret it <laughs> a second account named um uh, Kovderpus uh wait super really? <laughs> That's actually kind of fun. I mean, um, uh, it's not there, it's Dra then. But Kovdrapos always sounds like a cat name, and then you got that thing over there. <laughs> kind of reminds me of um, there's this other new streaming platform that people are trying to make. I'm not quite sure if that is actually a thing or not. It also kind of seems like they either stole a lot of code from the Twitch website or they borrowed it from the same place. I'm not quite sure what they did. It basically looks like the same thing. Uh, the whole thing is called Kick. You might have already heard of it here or there. And I kind of checked it out at some point in time and oof. The amount of, well, let's put it like special names in there was very impressive. <laughs> yeah, Kick.com. Uh, like chat in Kick.com was, well, horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. <laughs> I think I checked it out as I was like just fixing up my name so that my name is my name. Um, yeah. 
I did watch a stream on the air though of a random guy trying to hack the website and trying to like hack people's accounts <laughs> stream while he was streaming that. And that looked kind of interesting. <laughs> There's 21,000 people watching slots and casinos, 4,000 just chatting and nobody else watching anything. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, the slots and the slots people had to go somewhere. I mean, I don't think they're on Twitch anymore, are they? I'm, I'm really not that good at keeping up to date with current affairs on Twitch. Anyway, let's maybe place you. Okay, I'll do this one. Um, how about do it like this? No, that doesn't work. Um, oh, you have an ASC. Um. Well, we could... Nah, this, this is all kind of weird. Okay. Power pulse, power pulse. Since people went from Twitch to kick for gambling? Yeah. I mean, addicts gonna addict. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, yeah, this can work. Uh, can we go one higher? Mm -hmm. Ooh. We're actually out of research. What the hell? Also, yeah, all of these have to move over by at least one. A top streamer is currently getting 11,000 views. Uh, he's just sitting there looking at slots. I never understood that. I mean, I, I get the merit of a slot machine, but but my wisdom alone or already tells me like it's it's a negative sum game. And I did I did talk to a couple of people that actually do like slots. Um or they used to do slot streams. I'm not quite sure what he's doing now right now because he used to also do like gambling streams on Twitch. Um but I guess he's not doing that anymore. And he had this he had a very, very weird situation. I mean he got paid from the casino every day, I think four thousand euros or something like that. Every day. Got paid for that. But uh, he had also to use that money to keep like the stream going. So he used part of the money to do like giveaways. Part of the money he just gambled away. Part of the money he just took for himself. So there was a whole bunch of stuff in the air. And that 4,000 euros, it might sound like much, but it was actually not that much. Because at the end of the day, it didn't really keep too much uh, over. So um, yeah. So, so he was not really getting super rich from it, but it was more or less a steady income. And a steady income is always nice to have. But he did have one big problem. Uh, and that was because he had like this this high cash flow throughput. Um, his taxation situation in Germany was terrible. Like for all the money he got coming in, he technically had to pay tax on top of that. And well, let's put it like this. He didn't really want to pay tax on top of that because if he had to pay all of that tax on top, well, he would have been in an even worse situation than before. Then it would just be better to do anything else but that which I guess is also a fine option, but, well, he didn't want to do that, but that, that is his problem. Uh, but nevertheless, so he had the issue that he, well, had too much cash flow going through his account. So he basically moved to Malta. <laughs> and you're one of those people who you think is insane. You joined Twitch in 2016 and joined the Pokemon Shiny Hunt hunting community. We basically watch people soft reset the game until the methods and find a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Oof. But then you're gonna catch them all. Oh, shiny Pokemons. Oof. All right. Um, we got the choice of three researchers. Basic crafting speed, basic crafting speed. Sure, why not? We can always need that. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's move you around. Here we go. At least this is now more set up than before. Excellent. Uh, we still need some hot air down here. Uh, hot air. That's this pipe, that pipe. Yeah, you know what? We go this way. I also remember hearing something about the golden cap at some point in time, but uh, maybe somebody else remembers. <laughs> There we go. Good. Let's at least set some of these liquids up. Mm. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you have seen the golden kappa? Really? Are you sure about that? Here we go. Here we go. 
Uh, more trees to chop. Chop, chop, chop. Pots away. <laughs> Once. In <laughs> like 2017. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Come on, bots. Take it away from me. Okay, how is this place doing? Resource-wise, um, ooh. Remember that we had, like, loads and loads of antimony oxide? Oh, well, that's slowly but surely going down. But then again, we're now using more antimony oxide, which also means that this place over here should be... Uh, there's nothing going on over here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, you're missing fuel. Coke. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. What's going on over here? Okay, we get coke from over here, but this place over here is kind of slowing down. Not quite sure why, though. It should not be the steam. We have more than enough steam. It should not be the wood. Oh, it might just be, yeah, coal gas over here. Coal gas is, is like kind of, kind of, kind of stagnating over here. We should probably take the coal gas over here, turn it to the sin gas. Even though we don't really use the sin gas, we can then still burn it off over here in an oil burner just to make it move. And just making it move is the important part. Still a bit wondering for me why some uh, someone used a public account instead of a cryptocurrency wallet. Uh, wait. Why someone used public account instead of cryptocurrency wallets that are untraceable. Wait, what? We, ooh, what? Oh, you mean for, for, for the, the crypto stuff? Yeah. I mean, yes. As always, about the crypto stuff, just, just, just stay away from it. It's probably for the better. And Mr. Washing Toad, hello there. Thank you so much for your resubscription, mate. No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm reading that wrong. Subscribe to tier one, and they've subscribed for three months. So thank you for the three subs. There we go. There we go. Mr. Washing Toad, were you not even, were you not subscribed? What? Well, that's fine. <laughs> At least now I can, like, pay the stream again for, like, another five minutes. <laughs> it's a six month? Oh. Well, then. I hope you're going to be enjoying yourself. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, we can make the corn over there. Perfect. A tax avoidance is a national sport, but tax evasion is a crime. Yeah. I mean, he, he could... He didn't really want to, like, commit obvious tax fraud. I mean, he also had, like, a wife and kids. And, well, that's that's probably something you don't really want to do. Uh, so he basically talked to his, like, accountant and was like, okay, how do we do this the best way around? And he was like, yeah, you moved to Malta. <laughs> so he now lives on Malta. <laughs> and he has to live there for at least half a year. And every other half year, he goes back to his family in Germany. <laughs> Be real, everybody wants to commit tax fraud. Uh, I mean, in Germany, I would probably only commit tax fraud in Germany because I hate doing taxes in Germany. It's not like that I don't want to pay taxes, but they make it so complicated that I don't want to pay taxes. <laughs> I would rather not do taxes and just commit the fraud than actually do my taxes. <laughs> Automation taxes for Python script, it's sadly not that easy. Because the German tax system is like, uh I mean, um, actually automating it, it will probably be very easy, but I, you do have to read and understand all those tax forms, and oh, uh, I, I would rather commit suicide. <laughs> Anything but that. Um, no, don't do that. Oh, like, like you, you have to then read, you have to then read this this very specific German language just for like documents and legal stuff, and you just sit there and go like, ah, <laughs> please, just shoot me in my face already. <laughs> and Washington, you finally got a, a bunch of a loan paid off, so you finally have some money to be able to support awesome creators. Ooh. 
Well, focus on the loans first. I don't need the money. So if you want to pay off your own loans first, do that first. <laughs> Read it in the funny accent and it will fix things. Um, yes, or maybe just be blackout drunk. And then when you put it like into the post office, put like a bottle of whiskey next to it and go like, I made this tax report blackout drunk. You should review it blackout drunk. So here you go. <laughs> And New Zealand is all online, just to let you know that what's the um, uh, difference is via the Miamal. I mean, it's online over here as well. I can't do it all online, but still, those the, those online forms are like 100 pages long. And you have to put in specific values. And you basically have to read a book on the site to understand which, which value needs to go where. Because if you put the wrong value in the wrong thing, then things are weird. And, uh... Has written through the Mrs. Power? Yes, this little fucker over there. I'm just going to move you over. Here we go. Good. Okay. Let's maybe get the hot air and the liquids in. There are no forms because the employers have done it all. All right. I'm moving to New Zealand. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to New Zealand. <laughs> what's, what's the housing market over there? What, what, what costs a house? And do I need to find an Aborigine in a Trial by Combat to request rights to live there, or how does it go? Um, here we go, here we go. Oh, we were missing a pipe over there, we're going to fix it soon. Um, but let's see where this comes from. So this one over there is liquid fuel. That is the bottom one. That is the middle one. 600 to 700? Is that... Okay. Yeah, okay. I see, I see, I see. Uh, okay, that's, that's, that's similar to here. Dang. <laughs> Alright, open up the request. We do need to... Oh, we need to put some of these down. And that's why you don't do your text and pay the account that for me. Yeah, I think I'll have to look into one of those as well. I might just look into that because every time I need to do my text, I just go like, please, no, absolutely, no. <laughs> I would rather do something else. It's not worth my time. Uh, I will probably have to look into that. But usually when you let an account do it, it's, it's getting kind of expensive. And then, then my inner greed comes up again and goes like, no, that's way too expensive. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> you just sit there and go like, ah. <laughs> All right. If there's less than 5,000 in those two tanks, um, then we open up the station. Actually, no, you know what? Less than, less than 500. Like, only come when it's required. Uh, good. And then set the train limits. There we go. You are sitting over there. Ah, yeah. We need to limit that. It's just 0.01% of your taxes to your accountant? Really? That's super duper cheap. I think in Germany it's it's more expensive than that. Or maybe I have to take another look at that. Maybe, maybe, maybe I just misread that. You're also in German, but you don't have to do your taxes. It does help automatically when you get the salary. Yes, it, it kind of depends. Like, like if, you, if you have nothing special going on on the side, like, like no tax, uh, things where you get money back from your tax, then most of it is more or less automatically. You just press a button and you get everything in. But the moment you do like something like Twitch on the side or YouTube on the side, uh, or you have like some other special agreements where you get like, um, where you pay more um, at first, but you get it all back from tax, then it's when when it gets weird. <laughs> then it's just like, uh, uh, no. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's see. That thing over there. You're still heading out. Okay, we might need to start to think to make a better train system over here because he's kind of sitting over there for a while. Then, what was the other thing? The other thing was hot air. That will be you. Java number two. No, hot air requester. There we go. Uh, we do kind of want to copy over this. There we go. Characters in the way. There we go. Mm. Good. Then there's hot air done. And the liquid's done. 
The government is stupid. It's uh, you tell us how much you owe, and we won't tell you unless you submit it incorrectly, and then we tell you how much you owe. Yeah. Ah, uh, good, 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 good. Good. Okay, so what are we missing over here? Um, the seaweed? The seaweed we're still missing. It's over there. We're still missing the moss. We're still missing the poop. It's taking way longer than expected to just cobble that stupid thing over there together. <laughs> it's kind of hoping it would be done with that faster, but well, so be it. Here we go. And then... Fill her up. Fill her up. Ah, oh, we still need power over there. Good. Mm, here we go. Yeah, that's fine. And then... More power over there. And... More power over here. Not over there. Good. And then we do need some outputs. Wait. There we go. You over there. What if you ran power through a steel pipe? Ooh. They do that sometimes. Well, not with power, but they do sometimes put like um, fiber, optical fiber, through the water lines. Because you already have a pipe and the fiber does not really affect the quality of the drinking water. It actually doesn't affect it at all. And if we need your fiber to go somewhere, why not just use the drinking water pipe? Here we go. Here we go. Good. And then zipper it together over there. Good. Um, we need to just bring that stuff in. We're just bringing it in. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then we go up. We need to go to each one of these agar making machines. Here we go. One over there. And one over there. Uh, I guess one is fine. How much do you need, actually? You stand on the ground over there. There is on the ground over there. Oh, I see what I did over there. I, I kind of dislike that. Um, there we go. I dislike putting undergrounds on undergrounds. So we're doing it like this. You do need, what is that? Like one per second. Perfect. A single insert will be enough. And then we got one more agar machine over here somewhere. There it is. Put that in there as well. Done. Then I can see the hot air going around. I can see the liquid power not going around yet. That still needs to come in. Why is it stuck? Uh, oh, we got sailing water over here already in the tank. We don't need the second sailing water station. We got this one over there. We're going to use this one. Um, and yeah, this is a small parts provider. Where are you? Oh, are you down there again? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. We're going to fix that. Yeah, you. Mm. Come over here. Go pick me up. <laughs> We're going to fix that real quick. Good, 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 good. Ah. Ah. Good, 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 good. Come on. Where is he? And there he comes. I hope that's him. Yeah, that's him. Then we have to fix the station real quick. Sadly, we can't do that via remote. There we go. Yeah, I'm going back over there. Perfect. Ah. Uh, where are you sitting? Oh, you're sitting all the way over there. I see, I see, I see, I see. How is the iron mine doing? Oh, uh, well, fine enough, I guess. Stone mine is still doing fine enough as well. Um... Stone even backed up over here. Even better. 
All right. Um. Yeah. Put that another power pole. Here we go. And then let's hook it up. You, you, you. And then only open up if everything in here is less than 500. That should be good enough. Good. Get back in there. Go to the provider. And then we should automatically end up over here. We have to place a radar down there because we don't really see much down there. So a radar. Those are over here now. Mm. Yeah, make four. Four is fine. Good. Very, very, very good. How is this place doing? Um, well, kerosene is still fine over there. We are full over here. Lovely. Gasoline, absolutely full. Aromatics, absolutely full. Uh, but we are trying to burn off the kerosene as best as we can, which is fine as well. How's pollution doing? Pollution is fine as well. Lovely. Okay, we're going. Here we go. Well, you sometimes use red wire, sometimes use green wire. I usually use green wire for things that, like, measure how much we have, and red wire for things to control. But most of the time, at the cur at currently, I usually mostly use use whichever I have most. <laughs> but usually I use green wire for things I have, and or to know how much I have, and red wire to know how much I can control. That's usually how I do that, but, well... <laughs> Since making wire is kind of expensive, it's not too expensive. It costs every piece of wire costs the circuit, and a piece of rubber. It's the rubber that's expensive, not the circuit. <laughs> uh, we're not really making much of them. Is it exactly the other way around? Well, both is fine. Um, you know. I'm pretty sure that that station over there is not full. Um, can you get over there? We probably have done something stupid over there. Let's check. Ah. There we go. There we go. And maybe it's already full. That's also fine. There we go. There we go. I'll just say over here. Oh, I see what we did. Yeah, we forgot the L signal. Same over here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this station over here, we actually do not need. We already have a sailing water station on the side, so we're going to use that. Saves us some resources. We, we're going to keep the station over here as is. Uh, maybe people want to use this as a pasture or something like that. That's fine. That's fine. Good. All right. Yeah, the glass works over here is now working. Uh, we're not really making a lot of molten glass. We might need a second one of these. Uh, but we will see about that. But at least now we can make uh, the primitive parts. Then... Um, you still need wood. You still need... Ah, we need that other station as well. Uh, we can set it up real quick. That will be you over here, actually. Yeah, we should have enough space in our inventory to make that. Could you drive us, say, over here? Because this one over here, it's not backing up yet, but we do have just about the train shipment already over there. So we do want that stuff over there in a train. And what's the reason to look like troubled parts of the belt? That is small parts. Uh, yeah, you should not go anywhere else. Oh, uh, where is this thing? These are small parts. And it just looks like a whole bunch of things. Like a tube of stuff. A little pincer. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. A little, a little nut. A little cylinder. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of parts in there. Good. Um, no, are you still in automatic mode? There you go. Park over here for a second. Oh, actually... Park in here so that we don't block the network. Good. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to make another station over here because we can. Perfect. Here for there. 
It's going to be a very boring looking station. Uh, we're going to have a chest over there. We're going to have a loader set up over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're going this way. Mm, nope, not like that. Technically, we want to go past this thing. This thing over here doesn't exist anymore, so we can pick it up. We're going, we're going underneath it. Underneath it's fine. But we still want to feed into that thing over there. We need a splitter for that. I don't have a splitter. Then, oh, you don't really need it that often, do you? I like, need like one every ten. There we go. Yeah, that will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it like that. <laughs> good, 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 good. And then... Yeah, follow the next bit. Here we go. This way around. That way around. And we have arrived. Good. I, I guess we do more basic crafting speeds. Because why not? Can always pocket craft something. Good, good, good. All right. Um, then we do need an insert over here. Just basic insert will be fine. Then we can make more of the shafts. With more of the shafts, we can make more of the gearboxes. With more of the gearboxes, we could technically make more bots. And practically, we should probably make some more bots. Yeah, I have some aluminum. Make some more bots for me. At some point in time, we're going to get the aluminum in there as well. Uh, <laughs> at some point in time. Mm, good, good. Wait. There we go. And there we go. Then... Sure, place these down. We do need some lamps over here because it is kind of darkish. And last but not least, we do need one of these to tell when we want to order up the train. Good. You're going to there. You're going to there. Um, If anything is larger... Then we got 20 slots. It's 100 each. 2,000. There we go. Then we send out the L signal. Set limits. You are going to be named. Did we already make the opposite part? Yes. There we go. Provider. There we go. And this train over there. You actually go over here. You go. Over there? Yes. Full cargo. Empty cargo. Get over here. And after the celebration of New Year's Eve at 2 a.m., your colleague asked me to lend him his phone so he could call a taxi. Today, I was at the police station. <laughs> they wanted to give me a fine for abusing the 112 emergency number. The moron seems to have been calling them for several times, asking for them to send a taxi. And each time was more unpleasant. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> reminds me when i was like um i was on my way but on my way home from a party and i was already pretty hefty drunk uh and i just was standing like at the tram station waiting for my tram to come and um like like next to the tram station was like a little road and the police always go um across um, past that road because people are always up to no good over there and there was this one guy on the, on the opposite side of the train station just kicking a bike together and i held him up and was like hey dudes that guy. And they looked over and was like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they went over here, over over to them, and they, they actually took him with them because it turned out he actually had some, uh, he actually had a warrant on him. So they, they he was actually missing. So <laughs> I guess he got unlucky that night. And about uh, three months later, I got a call from the police. And the call went like this. Don't panic. This is the police. And I immediately panicked. <laughs> And they basically wanted to um, have another statement from me about that, that evening. And I was like, yeah, I was pretty much almost blackout drunk. I just pointed into the correct direction and you guys did the rest. And they were like, oh, so that's how it happened. Yes. <laughs> you didn't listen to them. Oh, God. Uh, but the weird part was, like, about three hours later, they called again. Um, and it was another person, I guess. 
they, uh, I guess it was like on the burndown list or something like that, or on the task list where they were just going like, okay, we'll call this person, call this person, get a statement here, get a statement there. And I guess they didn't synchronize because they got the same call again. <laughs> Zorb, thank you so much for the follow. As well as Kicknick. Hello there. How are you two doing? Good, 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 good. Uh, let's see. All right, how much is missing over there? Okay, the station should open up any second now. Any second now, there we go. Please worry, this is the police. Open up. We have analyzed your hard drive. Okay, please, straight to prison. I'm sorry, I will never do it again. <laughs> There we go. All right. Let's get in there. Good, good, good. We, we could load the train faster if we want to. Oh, uh, that's fine. Most on both hard drive. Uh, uh, naked pictures of, of, of camels. Yes. Camels. <laughs> Completely shaved. <laughs> it looks weird, but yes. And, of course, um, pictures of Bigfoot in the bikini. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot about that one. <laughs> and naked pictures of camels? Is that illegal? Yes, it is. And if you have a naked picture of a camel on your PC, well, the police is coming for you. Straight to jail. Fox Plot, hello there. Have you ever seen that one that was recurring as a slime? Yes, I what I rewatched that last weekend. <laughs> the last thing, the last thing, after he says he dies, is like, delete my PC. <laughs> oh, bloody amazing! Yeah, I was kind of hoping that that season three uh, at some point comes out. Is that already announced? I don't think it is. Um. I don't think season three is announced yet. There we go. There it is. And then season one, season two, uh, season two part two. That's of course a sequel. And then oh, third season. When was this updated? Unknown. Oh, not even a preview yet. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, at least announced that there will be a third season, but nobody knows anything yet. So if you have a photo of your husky sleeping in your bed, should I be warned? Yes, absolutely. The military police will pick you up. <laughs> You're not probably in the military, but they will they will draft you first and then they lock you up right away. Absolutely. <laughs> ah. Good, 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 good. All right, the train is coming over soon, and then we need the saline water still. We need an electrolyzer. Um, hmm. Hmm. Electrolyzer. There we go. What are we missing? Aluminum, copper, and iron. Yeah, we can find. We can probably screw that together. Smeagol. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Spiegel, did I really say Happy New Year? I think I did on Monday. I'm pretty sure I did on Monday. Good, 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 good. Oh! <laughs> well, that's Spiegel. Happy New Year! <laughs> I guess somebody got paid today. <laughs> one stevie seal got one wolf got one a wolf just recently followed so he will be happy about that crank 22 got one power d max congratulations trucks 3d for mali Namtekor. oh and then fallen angel just kind of shot smeagol out of the water <laughs> how are you guys always doing this <laughs> here have this no have that um and, uh, oh god, that's that's like 20 of them. Fallen Angel, 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much for that. 
<laughs> Needed to round up your number? What are you at right now? Where is that? Uh, over there. Uh, 479, 312, and then Fallen Angel with 200. Oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah, Messenger with 100 bucks, uh, 100 bit bits, we definitely get the hype train. That hype train will probably be already at level 5 or something like that. What is that going to be at? <laughs> Dodge the wall. Eh, everything go. You're not getting one. It seems you're not getting one. Uh, level 7 already. Or actually level 6. And then it gets to level 7. Or is it already... Ah, it's, it's, hype trains are always so confusing. But, Fallen Angel, thank you so much for those 20 gifted subs. 1, 2... Now, Zokarx. Jack, BT, John Walker got one, Wiley Coyote, ooh, Mojo's got one, Data got one, Findux has got one, oh, Laurie Lama got one. <laughs> She'll be very happy about that. Infantryman for Life got one, Evelios got one, ooh, Hellcat got one, uh, for this, I guess, <laughs> Destructive Ace, congratulations. BMC got one, Chuck Nuts got one, Shagun got one, Postpage got one, oh, they will be very happy about that. Are, are we still stuck over here? Um,. Are we maybe missing? We're not really getting a lot of priority over here, it seems. Um, who is Yo got one as well as as Albart? I think I got them all. <laughs> and congratulations to the people that dodged them. <laughs> all right, uh, let's have a look. Why are we on hold? Those are all of blue. These are all in blue. This one is in red. Oh, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's this train over here. Look at this. <laughs> He's just sitting over here. Blocking this whole block over there. And we just connect up to it. So, you go away. There we go. You fought hype trains at the level 5? No, they, they changed that. They changed that, I think, about three months ago. Where they basically unlocked hype trains. And... We kind of just nuked, absolutely nuked the hype train thanks to McFloss, who gave out 50 tier 3 subs at some point in time. And we had, what was that, a level 33 hype train or something like that? And, well, yes. <laughs> there we go. Here. Uh, I actually wanted to follow him, but... Yeah, you have an air, and... You over there. Here we go. And now we're unblocked. Here we go. Chance for a quick base tour. Um, sure. Wait a moment, please. Which train do we get for that? I know which train. Uh, we're gonna stand over here for a second. I'm gonna take this one. Yeah, could you pick me up? Then go over there. Then we go like over here for a second. Then we go. Well, I guess we go through there, but we should maybe actually go over there. Then maybe over here. Then have a quick stop over here. And then we go to... Okay, it's not here yet. And then we go to where the train needs to be. And then we're going to have a bit uh, more of a look. Good, 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 good. Now we do need to wait on the train. And that's not the train we're waiting for. That's another train. Unless we already missed them. Nah, I don't think we missed them already. Yeah, that's this train. There we go. You park over there. There we go. There we go. Is he coming? Um, no, he left. So he should be here any second now. Or did we actually miss that train? No, there he comes. There he comes. So, Smeagol, this over here, this is the food train. This train over here holds... Oh, an autosave holds quite a bit of worker food. Ooh. There's like a thousand worker food in here. And we're going over to the thing we made today for the, fir um, the first thing we made today. And that is all the way down here. Next to Balo, Lineup, and Calio. Um, we actually... Oh. <laughs> ah. Um... Yeah, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, um, we actually made an excellent processing machine over here. So we can get in raw Nexolid from somewhere else. And we process it over here into actual Nexolid. Let me just 
put you in the manual real quick. There we go. One signal missing. Yeah, a little bit more than one. There we go. Good. And we needed the next slit because we kind of upgraded um, our iron, our iron antimony next slit um, alloy processing center over here. We also kind of upgraded the Vitrolex processing over here. We're going to take a couple of each and going to make more into an advanced foundry over there. But that will be for later. For now, we are going down over here. Well, this this we already know. This is like the um, the chromium and the antimony. We're going to go over here because... Hype train? Yeah, definitely hype train. Because we are currently working on the Sarkoros over here. And the Sarkoros over here... Ah, perfect. We're already making the laboratory equipment over here. We're already making... Oh, the laboratory instruments already done. We need... Seaweed. Oh, we never hooked up the power. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we still need the seaweed over there. We still need to make some moss over there. So that we can make everything we need. We still need the belt of wood over here. As well as a belt of poop. But we will be making that soon. The poop, of course, is coming from down over here. Uh, we got these orcs. They're shitting on belts. We have full-on poop over here. Which is absolutely great. We are also making some of the melamine over here. Where we make the batteries as well. Good. And then, where are we going next? I think we're going back to... Yeah, we're going back over here because I didn't think we, we were there already. But that is fine. That is fine. We can maybe just pause it over there real quick. And... Yeah, put on the pause. Let's put the power line in real quick so that at least this machine over there can start working. Mm, here we go. Here we go. And we go down. Something like that. That will be fine. Yeah, that's working now. Good, 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 good. Oh, that train wants to leave as well. Here we go. Perfect. Yes. And then this over here, we already know. This is where we make the rock food and stuff like that to make better rock recipes. There's a whole bunch of seaweed over here and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's a thing we do over there. Good. Do we? Oh, we, we went back one more time. <laughs> okay, good to know. So we're back over here yet again. Um... We also made the mouse farm over here. The mouse farm over here at the moment, technically everything should go over here where they will be shredded over there. But at the moment, it all goes over here into the slaughterhouses, three of them. We just made three random slaughterhouses and we're taking them apart because most of it is going into worker food over here. But yeah, the worker food we need for something special. Then we got another take apart machine over here uh, where we take apart the rocks. We're going to have another take apart machine for the orcs at some point in time. This over here is where we sort our zoot, but we're not really importing copper or iron yet. So that's a thing over there thing. And for this scenario, what's the estimated time to approach the end? Half a year? Year? Year and a half? <laughs> Did you check how many heat exchangers and pumps is needed for one loop of uh, one poop heater run? Uh, oh, no, we didn't check, but we will. Uh, we do have now an oil power plant in addition to the coal power plant over here, which is bloody amazing. So this thing over here is now running at full capacity. We are very good for oil. We are very good for coal. So that's that. And now we're going over to the best place ever. And this is the best place ever. We do have to take a bit of a ride over there. It's it's probably not it's not the farthest uh, thing away, but it does take a while to get there. Uh, here we go. At some point in time, I will get cliff explosives. <laughs> <laughs> then we can just drive around there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Still have to go a bit. Bit more. Just a tiny bit more. There it is. Good. Park it over there. Good. We deliver the worker food over here. The worker food goes over here into the dig site. And then once the dig site has food, uh, the miners over here will start working. And I hope you've already seen them. Or you have not seen them. It's me go. But these things are bloody amazing. There they are. <laughs> We got some Dicosauruses over here. Um, yeah, they're not very efficient, but this is the best way to get Nexolid. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is how we get the Nexolid. Uh, but they're kind of efficient about it. I mean, every piece of food, and there was a lack of fast food in here, Makes eight pieces of Nexolid. So we are more or less digging up now 8,000 pieces of Nexolid. Which I guess is fine. 
Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a bit weird. It's definitely a bit weird. Good, 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 good. And heat exchangers you need for one poop heater to run. Not quite sure if all of the time I don't wait. The heat exchangers. Heat exchangers? Oh, yeah, we do need to make a heat exchanger. That is true. That is true. We do still need to make one of those. Because we need the super critical water over here. Yes. Yes. And for that, we need some biomass. And we got some biomass over here. We're going to be using it from over there. Um, no, we will probably have to do some... Mm, well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And how come only a one track syst a train system? Um, because why not? It works at the moment. We don't really have a high throughput yet. It's not like we have like trains barreling after trains, barreling after trains. Like a train over here only goes every now and then. That's also kind of due to the system. Um, but most of these trains are just sitting around and waiting. There's not really that many super duper active trains. And the bigger the system gets, the more flexible it also becomes. And for now, it's fine. But of course, yes, later on, we're going to have a bigger train system. But at the moment, I just want to kind of make ends meet and get to the point where we can make better resources. We will probably be switching over to like um, a bigger train system once we finally get into material processing too for each one of these. Because these over here will start to make a lot of resources. And we do kind of want to, well, move those resources around. There we go. There we go. And of course, we've got a train track that goes even further all the way over here to the salt mine. <laughs> and that's the only place where we have found salt up till now. We have not found any other source of salt yet. So, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're lucky. And I'm still not quite sure if this is an island or not. It could be an island. It would be fun if that would be an island. I think I've never, well, we do see islands, but I've never seen a big island in Victoria before. And are you salty about it? Nah. So Switch no longer ordering channels by viewers because Paul should be six on your list, but uh, he's on top. No, it's it's they, they're ordering it differently. Um, you can actually set it up how you want to order it, but since my browser is like very forgetful about everything, I have to set it up every time. Um, so well, yes. Also, Coke. What the hell's going on with Coke? There is not a lot of it. That's what's going on with Coke. What's with you? Well, you should be able to make a lot of Coke. What's this train doing? You're over there. Okay, you're just unloading that. We just need more Coke. And by Coke, I mean more coal. Uh, yeah, the Coke dependency on everything is oof. It's definitely a big oof. Good, 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 good. And then we're back over here. So yeah, we do need to make a, make a heat exchanger. I forgot about that. And heat exchangers, there they are. They do require mechanical parts, and we currently do not have any mechanical parts on us. We can make one. <laughs> we need to get the asphalt again. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then we need to depolymerize our organics. We need to make super critical water for that. And oh, I see what you mean. Like we make 50 subcritical water every 30. And how much do we need? We need... Oh, shit. <laughs> how much? We need a thousand subcritical water every 10 seconds. That's 100 per second. And we make it at the rate of 50 per 30. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Really? Do we get any better recipes already for this? No. <laughs> uh, and they do have, they have a craft speed of two. So we actually make a hundred every 30. So if we want to make a hundred per second, we will need 30 of these. We're not going to make a hundred per second. But I don't really think we need that many of them. But I do think we need at least 
At least one. <laughs> we're gonna make one. And then we're gonna see how many we actually need. Uh, let's see. Mechanical parts. Uh, we need rubber and we need boxes. There we go. We also need some plastic, it seems. Uh, if we just add rubber, we get six mechanical parts. Well, we're gonna make up to six. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, we do have no rubber over here. God dang it. Unless... Nope. Any rubber in here? Any rubber in there? Any rubber in here? Nope. Eh. Eh. Rubber. Hmm. Maybe we're lucky? Nope, that's lead. And that's lead antimony. Eh. Well, there is rubber not too far away from here. Uh, is there a car around? <laughs> oh, there's one. Opposite way we went. Perfect. And Bolt needs a rubber. Stat, yes. I need to put it over my head because I don't want to do my tags. <laughs> might as well make 10 of them. Yeah, we could. Oh, might as well make 10 of them. Um, what else did we miss? Uh, nah, I didn't really check. Did I? Uh, simple circles, plastics. We also need to pick up a couple of plastics. Okay, the rubber. The rubber, the rubber, the rubber. There we go. There we go. I mean, we do have rubber over here where we make this, of course. We're trying to make this, of course. So we might as well pick up that rubber. And then the plastic is also not too far away from that. And then we just get back to it. And so critical would be less than critical, which would be normal. <laughs> I'm not even quite sure what they mean by subcritical water. Is it like... Is it like water that is just about to reach the boiling point? Or is it water that... Um... I'm not quite sure what they mean with subcritical water. <laughs> you work with nuclear reactors, critical means running normally. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's super critical and subcritical. But, but what is subcritical then? Is that the water that's about to freeze? Like just about flash freezing? Also, while we're here, let's fix this real quick. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Good. Turn that into tar. This tar over here. It goes nowhere at the moment. Mm. We can't really put it into here because, well, this thing is in the way. Mm. But we can maybe just feed it into this pipe over here somehow. Probably coming in from the back. Perfect. Back loading. Subcritical water is the coolest liquid water. Okay, so so it basically just about to freeze. Good. And then we got the ashes over here. Do we still have an ash belt over there? We, we do have a bit of an ash belt. Maybe... Maybe this will work. Uh, and then... We need to make a splitter. For that, we need some iron. There we go. And then... Input priority from the top. Sure, that should do it. And to look it up, subcritical fluids are actually hot. A common working temperature for subcritical water is above 300 degrees, but the system um, is at a high enough pressure to keep the liquid. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. There we go. There we go. Good. Well, that will at least take care of that for a bit. Um... And don't really mind if we back up on tar, to be perfectly honest. Let's take this apart. And I guess, what do we do with the steam? Where's the steam going? <laughs> Is that going back up there? Um, no. Just burn it off. 
Also, where is this going? That's probably an ancient pipe. It's going here. It's going there. It's going... Okay, that's actually just going into the system. Interesting. Um... Now, currently we're making sin gas over here. The sin gas over here is not really going anywhere. And Jake the snake. Ooh. It's like uh, Jake's on the plane. I mean, snake's on the plane. <laughs> or Jake's on the Jake. There we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for the lovely follow. How are you doing? Here we go. And then we just burn it off. And uh, we do still need to make an engine. One engine is fine. Oh, it is connected over here. And the seam is so freaky, since you have the same voice as my co-worker. But you're way cooler! Ha ha, fuck you, co-worker! <laughs> Lama boy! Hello there. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. Nah, I'm pretty sure your co-worker is a nice person. <laughs> Mr. Pipe, have we did? I didn't really pay attention, to be perfectly honest. I was just like, I just wanted to get out of there. Good. Um, what do we miss? We wanted to make. Oh, I'm scatterbrained. That means your normal coworker should be named as a as a cow worker. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna check this up again. I'm pretty sure it's fine though. There's this piece of. Oh, there is. I see how this goes. There's an underflow over here. And these are connected. There's an overflow over here. There's an underflow over there. Um. Oh, you mean this one over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. The corner piece. Yeah, we always forget the corner pieces. Always, always, always. What do we need for more of this? More aluminum and everything? Well, I guess it's fine. Uh, not really in the mood to make those. We want to make mechanical parts. Plastic! That was the thing we wanted to pick up from over here. Um. Oh, you're out of fuel? Um, yeah, have some coke. Plastic. We got a chest of plastic over here somewhere. I see it, uh, Twitch shirt. Did you finally get partnership? Or what does we have called? We got partner. We got partner with the previous Pi Base. We got partner pretty much a year ago. Shit, I'm almost one year partner. Fuck! <laughs> Did that do anything with my partner status? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a year. We got the partnership in. Now you're asking me something about. I think we got it in February. I think. I'm not quite sure. Mm. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we make some sitting gas over here at least. I mean, we're just we're just using up the coal gas over here. So that this machine over here doesn't get stuck anymore so that we make more coke. End of January, early February, something like that. Man, has it only been a year yet? Perfect. It was just before you finished the last Pi run. I'm not quite sure if it was just before we finished. I mean, we played the Pi run definitely for more than a year. When did we finish the Pi run? The Pi run ran on around February 19th, really? <laughs> was this when we were that close with it? Oof. <laughs> Are you telling me I lagged my way into... <laughs> oh, Pi week. Is there a date on this one? There's no date. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> <laughs> but you're telling me I basically lacked myself into like a, a Twitch partnership. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Wait, that also means that in July, oh, that means I have to get in, I have to get ready to prepare myself for TwitchCon again. Oh God, that's coming around again. Uh, and this time it will be in Paris. That's gonna be fun. I have to train myself. I probably have to 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 uh, do some training with Tumbling Satellite and go like, here, dude. Please tell me how do I order a beer without killing people, <laughs> without going on a raid. <laughs> Good. Ah, there we go. Twitch Contest in France, 2023. It is announced for Paris, actually. And they should actually, it should not be too far away. They should probably tell uh, the date soon. <laughs> COVID too? Oh, yes. I'm get, definitely going to get COVID again when I'm down there. I'm probably going to get the, the French variant, uh, uh, the, the, the baguette variant, which is a fine variant to have. I mean, 
<laughs> to be perfectly honest, uh, getting COVID on TwitchCon was actually pretty nice because I got my whole vacation back from that. <laughs> bit weird having COVID, but it was like, yep, TwitchCon was fun, came back home, was sick, perfect, vacation days, all read, uh, all, all got back, and lovely. Maybe meet up with Fire Racer, yeah, but isn't he more to the southeast? But well, then again, he will probably be there. And no foam square pit. <laughs> and even Sparkle kind of said she would come over to, to Paris. Amsterdam, she was kind of like, nah, I can't drive there. Well, technically you can, but... Uh... <laughs> Drive to Paris? Sure. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's go back. We need to make some mechanical parts. I think we got everything we need. I have no clue, but we, we're we just going back. We're just going back. Let's take a car. There's no car over here. What the hell is this? <laughs> there used to be a car over here every time. Um. Well, there's one over, let's take this one over there. He's in the south, but he's been spending more time in the north as late. Oh, I see. Yeah, but Paris is freaking huge. I mean, I looked at it on Google Maps, and it's just like, here, this is Paris. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> How big is this place? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take my, my tree car. Here we go. Here we go. Let's hope no train comes our way. If it does, we're just gonna dodge it. Oh. Well, there's a train coming our way. Dodged it. <laughs> Good. Fuck it over there. And they've 100 kilometers from Paris, and it's still in the suburbs. Yeah. Paris is freaking huge. Basically also like London. London is also massive. Like, you look at it, this is London. You go like, how big is it? <laughs> Why does it stop? Ah, it doesn't really stop. At some point, you're out of London. What? <laughs> mm, good. Okay. Uh, we need plastic over here to make more of those. We need copper over there. We can just find copper on the belt over here. We need quartz over here. I think we do have quartz sitting around here somewhere. But yeah, we might as well make some more of those. I'm pretty sure we got some quartz in the chest over there. If not, there's quartz in the belt over there. We're just going to pick up this. Um, yeah, and when you go to Germany, like, cities are, well, cities are kind of big, but not as big as Paris or London. Or if you want to see something really, really big, Tokyo. That, that, that is also just, like, massive. Absolutely massive. There we go. Have this. Have that. Uh, need some more copper. Here we go. Yeah, we should make some mechanical parts. It's always nice to have these on us. We do need these for the more advanced buildings. Look, looks part of the day was February 7th. Okay, good to know. <laughs> you know, this was these things like, yes. Paul, do you remember when you got partnered? Yes. Which day was it? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> There we go. There we go. And let's have 12 of these. Oh, okay. Um, Basic crafting speed 4 then. Tokyo is insane. 40 million people between the city uh, and around. Yeah. I also looked at that on Google Maps. And it's just like, you just look at it. And you go like, yeah, I kind of understand now how all these kaiju, like Godzilla and everything, they, may, they might travel the city, but actually they're not even denting it. <laughs> There's just so much of the city going around. They could do whatever they wanted there, and it would not do anything. <laughs> here we go, here we go. And why is 8,844 uh, less than 300,000? If I could afford VIP, it was the other way around. <laughs> Wait, we need to fill up you. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here, put them there. And then I guess we're going to pick these up again because why not? We might as well pick up, pick up the brakes. Pick up the rubber as well. The small parts can stay in there. Uh, pick up the duralamine. The ritual legs can stay in there. You pick up the circuits. I do want those circuits back in my pocket. The rest can stay in there. Uh, pick up these circuits. The circuits are more worth in my pocket than in there. And then we got 15 parts over here, which we can use for heat exchangers. 
Took years to save up for VIP. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really that good with channel port redemptions, but I thought to myself, ah, you know what? If I'm not really doing that much with it, I uh, might as well make like a big one for people that are really, really loyal. And it's super great, I think. But now you can spend it on name of the game and hydrates now. <laughs> ah. The underlying difference is that Germany had federalized states while France was centralized. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like Germany, about, what is it, 100 years ago, that would be like 1923. Yeah, Germany, 1923, was, did not even exist. Germany's not even 100 years old. Um, Germany came to existence, well, depends on which kind of Germany you think about. <laughs> but yeah, Germany doesn't... Germany used to be like a whole bunch of collection of small states for most of the time. Every now and then there was like a bit, um, there was like more together, but that then broke apart real uh, fast again. And it usually was just like a big lump of small states. And only like, only like during the Victorian age, it kind of got together as Germany. And then it decided to fuck up everybody. <laughs> and then it didn't got, did not get split apart. And then it decided to really fuck up everybody. Then it got split apart again. And then it got reunited again. <laughs> Germans. Ah, what a weird folk. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, if you think like, like America is definitely older than Germany. Or, well, older as being a state, but not as being around. Good, 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 good. And France? France used to be like a big lump like for, for like most of history. It, it was always like, yeah, this is Paris. And then everything around. <laughs> and now again, it's like, let's maybe have the weapons again. Oh yeah, give the German a pointy stick. What, pos what could possibly go wrong? Oh no, <laughs> they declared war on everybody. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That's just what we do. <laughs> there we go. Asphalt is over there. Uh, what else do we need? We can make one of them. That's not good enough. We need... I'm pretty sure we got more asphalt going around. No, we definitely need this lad. So we might as well start plundering these chests for materials. Mm. Nothing over here. Nothing over there. Nothing over here. We probably need these stone furnaces at some point in time, but sure. Mm, nothing important over here. Nothing important over there. And a whole bunch of undergrounds in there. Yeah, true. Sorry, Regavian. True. I forgot about those guys. Yeah, the, the continent was inhabited before. That is very, very true. There we go. There we go. Good. Well then. Um, asphalt. I think we got some more asphalt in a random dumping chest. But we also make asphalt over here. But we currently don't have any asphalt because we are missing ash. Perfect. I know where we can get some ash from. Uh, I probably have some in my pocket. I got eight pieces of ash in my pocket. That's fine. Uh, but there's like more over here. The Kingdom of Germany in 1962. Yeah, it came together every now and then. And I was like, here, it's Germany. And then it probably all fell apart again. There we go. Ash, 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 ash. There we go. At least this one is, well, not that fast, but fast enough. There we go. And how do I know that? From playing way too, way too much Crusader Kings and Victoria 2. <laughs> or Victoria 3 in this case. Yeah, I tried to play some Victoria 3 again, like, not too long ago, but but it's still, like, the gameplay... Hmm. Uh, it doesn't really feel challenging enough, somehow. It, it's like you play the game and you go, like, okay, I focus on my economy. My economy is now booming. Okay, I won the game. Hmm. <laughs> and then you just sit there and go, like, hmm. Well, then... 
Or you play as a small nation and then you go like, okay, we're playing as a small nation now and then we just try to power it up as much as we can and then I got bored. <laughs> Good, what do we need? Um, small parts, a whole bunch of them. Let's pick up some small parts. How many heat exchanges do we actually need? Well, the, the big question is how much do we actually need in terms of the polymerized organics? That is the question. Um, and for that, we have to take a quick look at the recipe. There we go. We can make one. One is fine. A lot. Let's hope not a lot. There we go. We need like 50 every 15. Actually, we need 50 every 90, I think, was, it, was the number we were thinking about. So, 50 every 90. We need to make 0 0.5 per second. We actually don't need to make it at a full uh, at a high speed. The depolymerized organics over here are more or less tied to the production of our subcritical water. Subcritical water, uh, for every 100 subcritical water, we make 10 liquid manure. We need to make 100 per second, in my opinion. Um, and if we want to make 100 per second... Oh, that's 15 of these. <laughs> Actually, no, that's 30 of these. We're going to put down like four. And if we need to scale it up, we scale it up. Also, the, the amount of biomass going in the air is just going to be like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> We're going to make four. And if we think it's fine, then it's fine. If it's not fine, then it's not fine. That's how we do it. <laughs> you have this. And science wants need to be upscaled a bit. Yeah, it does. But for now, it's fine. I mean, these over here are also pretty expensive. But I guess for now, it's fine. Oh. That raw coal mine over there is empty. So all the raw coal that we use inside of the base is now coming in via train. Yeah. And that's also the reason why we probably don't have as much coke over here anymore. We might need a second train of this. Um, there we go. You're moving. That's fine. You got any buffers for science so you can buffer packs you're not using? Uh, not yet. I mean, the belt is a pretty darn big buffer, if you think about it. And currently, that is not even backed up yet. I was not quite sure why it stopped. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> we still need some lead. Um, here we go. Lead is over there. Here we go. Make another one. All right. What do we have in terms of fuel? Yeah, sadly, we can't burn any rubber. Is there anything else we can burn in here? You don't have a fuel value? You really don't have a fuel value. There's a belt of coke over there. Hmm. How do we even get it in there? With the long end inserter. There we go. And then... Do something like this. Um, For this, we need some more iron. Oh. There's no iron around here. Um... But, 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 maybe we can, maybe we can, yes, there we go. You don't need that anymore. Actually, both of these are not. There we go, just cannibalize. Good old cannibalizing. And then, go over there. You go under over. Oh. It's too short. Um... Hmm. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Put you over there. There you go. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> I'm just making it worse over here. I'm leaving. 
<laughs> I'm just going. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Put that in there, please. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, if we get some more asphalt, then we can make another one of these. There we go. There we go. And then we need some Jordan Minus of Steel. Both have made the mess for the future. Yes! I mean, we always make messes for us. Remember how this thing was almost full of gasoline? It's getting emptied out. Lovely. All right. Um, Jordan Minus we're missing and steel. Jordan Minus is, of course, down here. Okay, now we also have a little bit more space for here to actually get this thing in. Okay, pick it all up again. Zip, 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 zip. Yeah. Oh, it's already full. <laughs> God dang it. Um. All right. And then the Coke belt. Don't like that, please. Uh, we can't go under there. <clears throat> I guess we go around. Not like that. Worst belt ever. And then... <laughs> okay, this way. This way, this way. There we go. Made it. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> uh, just to fuel up this boy over here. Pick up your ash. Can we, what can we do with the ash? The ash, I guess we can put in at least in the chest. Here we go. Here's the stuff. There it is. Um, there we go. <laughs> that works. <laughs> that should do it. Quit, uh, quite a detail to avoid moving the split just one step down. Yep. Now, I mean, the thing I didn't want to do is I don't want to put undergrounds on the undergrounds. I'm already doing that over here. Yeah, blah, it'll be fine. That's just me being me. Good, 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 good. All right. Um. Yeah, at least one more of these exchanges. For that, we need to do and steel. There we go. You could also rotate the sub uh, straight machine. Uh, that's true. Well, what's done is done. <laughs> that's over there now. It stays. <laughs> good. Uh, where's the steel belt? There must be a steel belt over here somewhere. Mm, concrete belt, stone belt, steel belt, steel belt. There we go. Now we got four of them. I think four of them for now is fine. If we do need more, then we need to make more. But we make four for now. We still got the uh, moss farm we need to put in. We still need to get in the poop via belt. And we still need to get in the wood via belt. And I think then we got actually everything. And then we're finally making that stupid Sakura stuff. Took way too long. Absolutely. Uh, while we're over here, let's do one thing real quick. Um, there we go. Let's refuel our suit real quick. There we go. Yeah, put this back. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Cellulose would work as well. Oh, I think that was also the way we powered it, actually, from the get-go. I think it was actually running on cellulose, but the cellulose production seems to be a little bit lacking. And I guess the reason for that is it's all going into chips. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, we're still missing a car over here. Ah, but, but it's in walking distance. It is in walking distance. One thing we're also still missing. Wait a minute. We're still missing an electrolyzer. And then copper and iron. And because we still need to make... We also need two of these then. Uh, and that is iron plate. Oh, that's a little bit suspicious. 
the iron belt over here being that empty. Hmm, probably have to take a look at it soon, but for now it should be fine. Two of these, and then one electrolyzer, please. For that, we need some copper. Copper we can find over here. Just squeeze through there. There we go, and then we can find a nice belt of copper over here. All right, dump chest. Um, here we go. You there? Yeah. You know what we don't need? We we don't need. We don't. We don't need this or that, or the sap, or the limestone. We keep the coke for bad times. Um, and then copper. Uh, still need more iron. Oof. Yeah, there, there seems to be something wrong with the iron belt. I'm like, well, what's what's going on? Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, you're just flat out of coke. Absolutely flat out of coke. Or any kind of fuel we can throw in there. Ah, well, that's annoying. You know, also pocket crossing quite a bit, but so be it. Can we make an oxygen furnace real quick? Um, consumes fuel. I guess. It only... Can it run on something else? We could check over here and then steal the car over there. Let's do that real quick. We actually also kind of want to fire up. And I'm just going to pick up some, some burnables from over here somewhere. We kind of want to fire up the, 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 the salt smelter as well. Um... Oh, I say pick up some burnables, but there's not that many in there. You pick up some coal. That will be fine. I mean, running on coal and coke is not that effective at the moment, it seems. Once we get, like, a good coke farm, then it will be easier for us. But I'm kind of curious to see if we can actually run the oxygen furnace on anything else. Here we go. Move over there. Uh, okay, basically everything that burns, but it's not, but, but it's not the canister. No. All right. Uh, yeah. After coke, after coal, have fun. Good. All right, back we go. And actually, I'm gonna be lazy. There we go. Yeah, you. Could you do me a favor? Could you just drive me like over here, and then go back home? Ah. Good, 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 good. Come on. Open up the segment, please. There we go. Off we go. Now, what about locks? How many wood farms would it take to keep it running? Uh, we could make some new wood farms. I mean, wood farms will definitely help us out a bit. But basically, if we just focus on getting to like the next tier of science, then we can make an actual coke facility. And with that, we can just run it and just make loads and loads of coke. And then we're more or less coke independent because then we can make more efficient coke out of coal. And we also get the other coal recipes. Then we will be good. Then we will be real good. It's kind of dark over here. Here we go. Put in some lamps, please. I mean, we could make a wood place. That would solve it for now. But I'm not quite sure if we actually want to make a wood place. Because we kind of want to solve it with an actual coke place. And then spend the resources on that rather than that. Good. All right. Um, so, let's have a look at these. Okay, you're good. You're missing Zogna. Zogna is missing this. You're missing Agar. You're missing Steam. You never got connected to water. <laughs> yeah, that will help. Maybe connect your borders to water, you know? Here we go. We need to go around. Isn't it better to focus on the better core recipes uh, and only use coke for what is needed as a recipe? Yes, but we can make a big coke machine. And the big coke machine will allow us to, to make as much coke as we want. 
Uh, we're also gonna need that if we want to make like a lot, lots and lots of coke gas, uh, co uh, coke oven gas, which we need for hot air. We also kind of want to use it um, so that we can, oh, we need to be over there. Uh, so that we can make loads and loads of sin gas, which we also need quite a lot of in the future. A coke plant is gonna have a whole bunch of advantages for us. There we go. Okay, that's the acre going. Then you still need your weeds. Uh, you still need your cellulose. Cellulose we're probably gonna be baking over there. Let's focus on this one real quick. And we're gonna need these over here. Four of them. So, let's have a look at you. Subcritical water. Out of biomass of all things. Pressurized water. One pressure pump will probably be more than enough to fix them all up. Uh, we probably still have a pressure pump around here somewhere. And there's one. Let's have a look at you real quick. Pressurized water. You make... What is that? Uh, divide that by... You make 80 pressurized water per second. You need... Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, We can place these next to each other. Maybe place it a little bit more down here. Yeah, pots. Can you help me out? Yeah, take rid of this. Here we go. Also kind of have the feeling that these pots will be coming over here soon. Here we go. There they are. Come on, bots. Be faster. Take the stuff away, please. Uh, we're going to place four of these down. Four of these. We'll be making subcritical water at a rate of 50, 100, 400. Uh, 100 because of cross to be 2 times 4, 400. 400 every 30. That is... Hey, that's more than 10 per second. I guess that's fine. Uh, we need 100 per second over here. If we want to make this full pull to make... 10 depolymerized organics per second. Depolymerized organics over here. Uh, we need that over there at the rate of... We need 50 every 90. We need 0 0.5 per second. Okay. Actually, not too bad. If we want to make 0 0.5 per second... And we go back over here. 0 0.5 per second. That would mean we run this at... If we run it at 10%, we make 10. If we run it at 1%, we make 1. We need to run it at 0.5%. So we need 0.5% of the resources every 10 seconds. Um, that means we need 5 subcritical water per second. Which means you have an air, you make 60, 130. One of these would be enough, maybe even. Now we're still going to place down four. Let's place down four. There we go. It'll be fine. Gives us room to grow. <laughs> but yeah, we, we don't really we don't really want to make like all of the subcritical water. We just need a bit of it. Also, a nice uh, sink for biomass at the beginning. So, sure, 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 sure. Then you over there. We're going to need you, say, over there. You make the pressurized water. There we go. You go in over there. You go in over there. You go in over there. You over there. Dun, dun, dun. You there. You there. You here. You there. Is it because they're all next to each other? Answers, yes. <laughs> Freaking game. Uh, yeah, they, they it, it doesn't show that they connect, but technically they connect over here. So, yes. And you might have, well, have to head over to the fact that I'm also working with the numbers and I'm getting confusing as fuck. <laughs> Remember, numbers are not the confusing part. It's the letters. That's the confusing part. Here we go. Here we go. Good, and then we need the belt over here. How much input do we need? We need two biomass per second. Because of cross to be two. So two yellow inserters each will be fine. And then this whole thing over here eats eight biomass per second. Which is fine. We got We got some biomass over here. We're already prepared for that. Off we go. All the way over here. 
You know, the numbers of the master throwing me off. Yeah. I don't really actually calculate stuff most of the time. I just look at the thing and go like, this is probably correct. Um, <laughs> it's, it's more like calculating with experience rather than calculating actual calculations. <laughs> it's the pinnacle of being lazy. <laughs> Good. How do we do this one? Um, hmm. We do need a splitter. Let's have a look. Um, okay, you're backing up. That's fine. So we do the ample priority over here at the bottom. You go this way, and then you go this way, this way, and this way. Professional laziness? Yeah. Like, more like, like, do we really need to calculate this? Ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Good. Biomass is coming in. Lovely. So we prioritize the biomass for the air to go into the subcritical water machine over here. Uh, which is perfectly fine. Then you still need an actual water pipe. Uh, we got an actual water pipe over here somewhere. Mm, I don't think we can make it under there. No. But we can do something like this. There we go. There we go. Good. You got your water for the liquid poop. Uh, we still need this connecting pipe. There we go. People are probably already screaming at me. But <laughs> did the one decide if I make enough green circuits to keep everything going? <laughs> I mean, that's where main boss usually is kind of fine. I mean, on the main boss, you basically can immediately see like, okay, we're not making enough of this. Or we are making way too much of that. Or we need to use more of this. Because the way the bus is ordered, you basically see what you need and what you don't need. Which is kind of nice. And in these kind of train builds, it's it's kind of hard to see sometimes. But, well, one step at a time. Good. You also get an underground from over there to over there. And then the only thing we need over here is one inserter. And by inserter, I mean loader. Because we're going to completely load up the machine with as much poop as we can find. And we're going to drag this belt all the way over to the poop belt. Um, and for that, best way to go? Eh, it's, it's, it's actually through the middle, but let's go down. Go left. There we go. Go over here. Go over there. Yeah, we could have done this with a train, but it didn't really feel like that we need to make a poop train. I would rather make a poop belt. <laughs> I would rather just make a poop belt. I'm out of belt. Oh, <laughs> we can pocket craft a little bit. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Uh, but now there must be a car nearby over here somewhere. Do you've got some belt on you? Nah, you got train tracks on you. Do you've got some belt on you? Nah, you're empty. No construction car available. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Good. Either way, poop is coming over. Excellent. Damn. We still need to make the moss. No problem. I guess we're just going to pick up some, some, some belts real quick. And then we're going to be fine with that as well. Damn. What else do we need? And yeah, that, that biomass, urgh, that could go faster. That biomass machine is actually not as fast as you might think. Like, it, it takes quite a while to, to compost the stuff. I mean, it does clean up the belt over here, and... Oh, the meat is... It's, it's not backing up too hard yet, but there is... Okay, the bones are backing up quite a bit. Well, as soon as we add the train to that, it will probably be fine. Do you ever use circuits of programmable speakers to give you a custom warnings for things? Yes! And actually, I remember something. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> we got one! <laughs> How could I forget about you? We got one of them. Yeah, this speaker over here will go off when we have two of these. We're at cycle 651. We need about an average of about 800 cycles to make two of them. <laughs> Yeah, for, for the breeding program over here, we do use programmable speakers. 
mostly to alert us that something special has happened. Um, there we go. There we go. Good. All right. That is this done over here. Oh, you still need to be connected to the water pipe. Um. Good, and there you go. Here, you can make the subcritical water. Then the only thing we need to wait over here is on the liquid poop. Then we make the depolymerized water, or the depolymerized organics. Then we're done over there. That goes all onto there. We still need flowers over here as well. Ugh. Plasmids over here need Zogna. Zogna needs wood. Now, for the wood, we got the wood belt. Already over here. It goes over there somewhere. Let's pick up some more belt. Finish this thing. Make the Sarkoros, and then next time around, the only thing we have to do is finish the animal puzzle. And for the animal puzzle, we're already pretty well prepared. I mean, uh, we already got, like, train stations full of, of body parts, and we're probably just going to call them together and just assemble them into the parts so that we then can finally finish off the science, which I'm very much looking forward to. Good, but the Sarkoros part is definitely the, the most complicated of them all. I mean, the, the animal samples, where are they even? Are they in here? Or are they over here in, in, in raw ores or in petroleum handling? Or in coal processing? Yeah, in coal processing. Why the fuck are they in coal processing? Yeah, this over here. Okay, we still need to make another line of plasmids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I sense evil. It's, it's going to be a very hard thing to do. We probably have to, like, take at least a guinea pig or two. Sparkle! I've got guinea pigs! Look at them! Look at the adorable little fuckers! we got a whole farm of guinea pigs over there! Burn and pillage! Yes! We're going to go over to our neighbors, and we're going to demand all their little, little guinea pigs. Look at them! There! They're just sitting around in these little farms. They're actually... I think rats, but I'm not quite sure what they are. But we are definitely not breeding them like in a battery and putting them on the belt. And we are definitely not drowning them over there in, um, well, cooked up poop. <laughs> definitely not happening. And there's definitely no such thing as putting all the remaining little gerbils over here and putting them into the special care house. The special care house is there to make them laugh uh, very loud. And then they pop because they laugh too much. Uh, and then all the goodies come out, like the bones and their brains, and they, they lose some weight because they lose their, 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 their lard over there. And we even get some meat out of that and some skin and everything. And this machine is about to back up because of the freaking bones. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got raided by Sparkle and Pop, an amazing team member of the Red Circuit stream team. Sparkle, how are you doing? How's Alfie doing? Say hello to Alfie, um, and say hello to, to all the guinea pigs. Uh, don't say hello to Liam. He does not deserve it. <laughs> you can tell him goodbye. Um, there we go. There we go. And welcome, Raiders of Sparkle and Spop. And Sparkle, you're playing Getting Over It. Did you get over it? Did you get to the top, or did you fall down? Tell me. Tell me. And guys, do leave Sparkle and Pop a follow. She's bloody amazing. Check out for yourself. An absolute delight to watch, um, especially when she screams, and then your ears hurt, and then everything doesn't matter anymore because your ears hurt. Uh, and there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Liam was training Sparta Alfie. Oh, I see, I see. You got quite high and then decided to fall uh, to end before you fell. I see, I see, I see. Did both series last if you see that's a super hard game or is it just uh, failed and failed? Well, it kind of depends. I mean, I haven't played the game myself yet. Uh, maybe at some point in time we have to do that. Uh, but not today, not today. We're playing Piano not today. And we are kind of working on this massive, well, whatever this is. It's a thing. Uh, are these working? Oh, yes, these are working. These are amazing. Look at them. Look at the little fuckers go. <laughs> we got some mining dinos. And these over here make ourselves some Nexalut. Also, they have like, they, they have very, very waggly hind bones. <laughs> They're not really that fast, but, and they've already eaten up most of the food, it seems. I'm pretty sure they're almost out of food, which does mean we have to send over a food district over sooner than later. Uh, 
not adding extra diners yet. Well, I mean, this, this thing is full. Every one of these can only hold four of them. We could, of course, make another dig site, but then we also have to make more dinos, and making those dinos is kind of... <laughs> oh. Then again, we also don't really need that much Nexolith. The Nexolith that we're making over here is being transported all the way down here, and yeah, we're, 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 we're decently backing up a Nexolith, so we don't really need to make more of them just now. This thing over here also kind of stopped because, okay, we're now kind of slowly but surely running out of antimony oxide. Antimony oxide has the issue that we're running out of coke. We got a coke problem. We definitely got a coke problem. Um, but one step at a time. Our first step is, I forgot what I was doing because we got ready by Sparkle. We want to pick up some belt. We picked up some belt. Good. And then we probably need to get rid of some drag. And then we have to say, shout out Sparkle even more because Sparkle is just bloody amazing, guys. Seriously. Go check her out. There we go. There we go. Enough shouting out. <laughs> now switch over to shouting at. There we go. Good. Uh, the belt for wood. Yes, the belt for wood. The belt for poop we did. And then the belt for... Is it only the wood? I think we're still missing something. There we go. There we go. But yes, we need a good old hardwood belt. There we go. But you also have to make a dive, uh, uh, a dash, and have an amazing one. Only, uh, wait, Wonny? Wait, what? Did I miss something? Uh... Well, either way, Sparkle, thank you so much for dropping by. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good! Good, 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 good. So, um, over here, over here. We need wood. I think, is that really already it? Only wood? And the flowers. The flowers was the other thing. We need the wood over here, and we need the flowers over there, and the saddle loose. Those are the three things that are remaining. And the saddle loose is also made out of wood, and we can set it up. We're going to set it up for the south. There we go. I'm viewing uh, the time that it uh, took in order to move items around, and it's not time to reorganize the base into something better. Nah. Nah. Wait a minute, the wood's over here. I mean, we could always reorganize, that is very much true. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I don't really want to do too much reorganizing on stream. I just find it kind of annoying. I would rather like take like um, uh, like a session, like like an offline session, and then just reorganize it over there. But I didn't really spend that much time over there. I mean, at some point in time, there will come some, some time where we have to, I have to put some effort in to make things like better. But today is not the day. Also, let's get rid of these lamps real quick. And move them around. I mean, reorganizing the base. Definitely once we have things like... Um, logistic bots. Then we're probably going to start making... 22 months? I have underwear that is older than that. Oh, shit, that really? <laughs> Buy some new shit, man. <laughs> Two months already. How are you doing? Merry Christmas. I don't think you have been around yet since Christmas or I think since New Year. And Happy New Year. And Sintert. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for 22 freaking months. And Vibrant Batman. Hello there. You've been traveling a bit for the family? Yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> Christmas period is always like either people are there or they're not there. There's, there's nothing in between. Good, 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 good. But let's finish up this fucker over here. Uh, we need to make some more cellar loose. And of course, I forgot the one machine. But we make the cellar loose in. And where the fuck is that? There we go. We make that in a bite. Never mind. I got that. Thank you very much, Pass Me. Um, then we need the electrolyzer. We made that one as well. There we go. And you free. Okay, you're back at the bottom again. Enough for today. Hello there. Every, how are you doing, guys? Every's also over there. If you don't know who Every is yet, ooh, he is an absolutely amazing Dutchman. Dutchman. <laughs> Dutchman is what you get if you try to say Dutchland and Dutchman at the same time. So he's a Dutchman. There we go. That's a new thing. Um, and if you want to figure out what a Dutchman is, get over there, leave him a follow. <laughs> 
right, don't I? Ah, there we go. Yeah, my, my bot's probably a bit lazy today. And I'm his 206th favorite follower. <laughs> well, one at a time. One at a time. Here we go. Here we go. Pull it all over. Okay, sailing water. There is sailing water right over there. And we probably want to make a pump over there because it's going to go for a while. Is is Yeah, I guess that's how it goes. <laughs> we still got some power poles. There we go. Good. Connect it up. Oh, don't forget the corner piece. There we go. And slurp. Good. That will be the sailing water that we need to electrolyze to turn into chlorine gas and into hydrogen, which we both will be venting because, well, meh. <laughs> we don't really have a use for it yet. And even if we did, I'm not quite sure if we actually want to depend our build over there on chlorine gas. Uh, but what we do want to do is definitely bring over the sodium hydroxide into here because over here we do want to make uh, the cellulose and the last ingredient for that is going to be a little bit of wood. There we go, there we go. And then pull this one down real quick. Pull it over. And where is it down there? And in you go. Not like that. Like that, please. Perfect. Good. And that will make our solo loose. And how is it, by the way? Uh, your sleeping has been improving. Now everything else is to improve too. Yeah, my sleep cycle is completely fucked again. I I'm not quite sure how I managed to do, do that. Like last week, I took the week off, and one of my objectives was to fix my sleep cycle. By the end of the week, uh, on Sunday it was fixed, but then it just kind of kept rotating on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I do kind of want to try to at least get back into bed early today, because the last couple of days was already rough enough. Um, so at least maybe get myself some energy levels up for tomorrow. But today was definitely better than Tuesday, because on Tuesday I only slept for like four hours, and well, that was... Well, we ended the stream early on, on Tuesday because I was just way too tired. Good. We go this way, we go that way, we go this way, we go that way. We go this way, we go that way. Where does this stuff need to go? This stuff goes into... Over here? Over there? Over here? Over there? Over there! There we go. 2345. Yeah. Uh, we're basically finishing the course today. And then we're good. And the only thing that's missing is the flowers and the moss. Now, for the moss, um, we can just make some moss over here. Uh, we just need water and the flowers. There's a flower belt all the way over there. We're just going to... Actually, wait a minute. There's a flower belt all the way over here. That will be an easy grab. Also, what happened over here? There we go. Now, we're going to be good for today. It's not like we're going to be overstreaming too much. We'll probably go to like um, twelve thirty, but that's fine. That's fine. Then I can do the 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 the, uh, the recap episodes tomorrow. Like maybe at lunch, maybe a nice lunchtime recap recording. And scale the summit. How far are you in this mod right now? <laughs> uh, I have no fucking clue. I mean, we're still trying to make logistic science. Does that answer your question? <laughs> And once we have logistic science, well, then we're going to figure it out. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. And where do we need to be over there? Um, just keep on pulling, keep on pulling. Pull, 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 pull. Uh, not over there. We want to go past that. Here we go. And then further down over there. I mean, we're also fully committing to absolute mass spaghetti side. Uh, which is perfect. I don't like spaghetti. The spaghetti has grown into us, around us, and on top of us. So, there's spaghetti everywhere. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think SpaceX is the final boss for me in terms of complexity and factorial mods you want to play. Uh, SpaceX... 
SpaceX is fun, compl complicated. I mean, the the thing I really enjoyed about SpaceX was um, the, the 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 space logistics, like making sure that the rocket goes to where it needs to go, bringing enough supplies, stuff like that. I really enjoyed that. Here we go. Good. That's a flower stone. We don't have the polymerized organics yet. What's missing over here? Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe just flip you around. There we go. Here, yeah, you liquefy the poop, you cook the poop. The SpaceX even scratching the surface of Pi. Well, Pi is complicated in terms of all the things that, like, go together and all the things you have to make. SpaceX is complicated because you have to transport stuff around across um, surface borders. And transporting across surface borders is, well, kind of expensive and hard. Especially in terms of circuitry and thinking about how you set all those things up. Once you have that done, um, you will have an amazing system that goes around and later on you have spaceships and everything. That's where SpaceX really, really shines. Pyanodon shines more or less in, here, we made all these things, why? <laughs> and Anurai, love the beard. Yes, I also love your beard. It's probably a very sexy beard. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, this thing is working, backing up. Flowers are coming in. We'll be backing up soon. Only thing you're missing is the moss. And then we got the Sakura's done. Good. Moss time. How much moss do we need? That's a good question. Uh, we need... 10 every 90. We need 1 every 9. You make... 3 per second. We don't really need that much moss. I think a single moss farm over here might just be enough. Like a single moss farm. With like a single dirt water machine next to it. With not the stone recipe, with this recipe. Oh, that might be might be a bit slow. I mean, if we put in the tier two moss in there, it will be 16 moss every eight, uh, every 100. That is 0 0.16 moss per second. Um, we do need five. Okay, maybe two. We're making two, <laughs> and we're making it over here. Or maybe over there. Over there. And Bolt lost all beards? Yes. Especially the smooth beards. <laughs> okay, maybe three or four. Let's make four. Four should be fine. One, two, three, four. Basic recipe without any kind of requirements. We do need some coke around here. There must be a coke belt around here somewhere. Um, to make the carbon dioxide, that will be fine. Um, we do need... To make one of these and a washing machine. We're making a whole bunch of parts in the pockets, but these are the final parts that we need. So it will be fine. And you put it out of an air, you put it out of an air. And scale the summit. Thank you so much for the lovely follow. And when do you scale the next summit? There we go, there we go. There we go. And coke, yes, all the coke. I mean, we need to go as fast as we can. Uh, wait a minute, we do need to make one more machine. Oh, we can make one. Perfect. We can make everything we need. Need to go check back on the wife. She didn't sound too happy. I mean, if she already like, if, if she already is like preparing the sofa for you, then you don't really need to check up on it anymore. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I hope not. I hope she's fine, mate. Have a good one. Um. <laughs> no, not that lucky. <laughs> I'm trying to finish a 0 0.6 space explanatory right now, so hopefully I can scale to somewhat some at point in the future. Oh, yeah, my my space explanatory. We're currently sitting at tier two science of all the materials and space. Um, there's material, um, biological, um, and the other two, energy and astronomic science. Is it astronomic? I don't think it's called astronomic. I think it's called something else. Um, and we're just reaching the point where we can start scaling up everything, uh, getting the space elevators in and stuff like that, and especially getting... Okay, we need some more pipes. Oh, we can make some. That will be fine. And especially getting along, like, the trains into space, finally. I mean, we could have already done that beforehand, but we can finally start scaling up, especially now that we have, like, things like the advanced assembly machines and everything. Very much looking forward to that. And... 
that connected. Perfect. And the advanced chemical machine. Yes. Astronomic, biological material, and energy science are the four main tiered science in space. Yes, yes, exactly those. And then you get like, then you get like this one. You get like the, the deep space science at some point, and then you get the advanced science. And there was one more, wasn't there? Like, didn't is that K two that added that, or was that, um, or was that um, space exploration? There is one more in there, which is kind of weird. You get close to space elevator yourself? Yes. And there's one more science pack in there. It's not deep space science pack. Um. Now, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Good. Okay, we're gonna make you from here. You only thing you do is make carbon dioxide. Here we go. For that, you need some coke. Uh, well, there's a coke belt going around. Oh, coke belt, you. Coke belt, you. Oh. <laughs> coke belt, you say. Um, we might just take this one over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, and we need to go, well, not like that, like this. Here we go, here we go, and then, and that one as well. Good, rotate, excellent. Uh, and, nope, I'll do it like this. Good, you make the carbon dioxide, the only thing we're missing then is the washing machine over here. As well as the dirt machine. Yeah, you make dirt. You make um, muddy sludge. And then the muddy sludge over here goes around. Into there. I've built myself into a corner. There we go. And then the only thing we need over here is a pipe of water. And then, of course, the tier two moss. Mm. Good. And we got a water pipe over here somewhere. Pretty much right over there. Here, make some more of this. Here we go. Done. Okay, tier two moss is missing. And then all the moss over here needs to go into, I think, this one over there. So you go down, and you go over there, over there, over there, into there. One more loader, put it in. Yeah, you're waiting on the moss. Let's get that moss together. Uh, we're going to get the tier two moss. Is there a car around here somewhere? Uh, there's a train over there. Stop. Well, missed up. <laughs> we're going to take a walk. We're going to take a hike. It will be fine. And CFT, right? You're also doing SE 0.6, but just starting on uh, the silver orbital of science, right after red, blue, green, orange. The silver <laughs> is is that is that the 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 <laughs> which one? <laughs> orange? Maybe maybe he has uh, some some color mods in, but I'm also a bit confused. <laughs> Get all the materials, make all the signs, and have a lot of fun with it. That's the important one. <laughs> <laughs> the very first signs in this space version mod, which you can make on Novus. The very first. Oh, wait, what? Um, the silver orbital signs. Oh, you mean the rocket packs? But do you really make them on Novus? Don't you make them like... How many do we need? 15. We got four of them, so we need 60. Hmm... Don't you make them, like, in space? Don't you make, like, all the space packs in space? The basic space pack. There's the rocket pack. You make the rocket pack out of the satellites, and then you add, like, I think a bit of rocket fuel and a bit of this and a bit of that. It's been a while. <laughs> I've set it up in the mall and, well, then, then mostly forgot about it. Good. Ah, tier 2 moss. Better than this, this.
inferior tier one moss. There we go. Good. Time to finish up the freaking Sarkoros. And then we need to get it out of there as well. Yeah. <laughs> the thing with the collar on the thing. Ah, that one. You mean uh, the thing with the... And the... And the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great one. Good. Food shortage. Ah, yes. You know what usually helps in these kind of situations? If you actually power the building. You know what also helps? If you actually do connect these buildings up with each other. There we go. You make the dirt water. There we go. You guys make the moss. Come on. Uh, crafting speed 2.05. Nice, 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 nice. And you either have to go Vulcanite uh, for the silver and red production science or go to a cold pine for the silver and blue science packs. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Uh, I went first with the Vulcanite. And the reason for that was to get to the production science pa packs so that we could, I think, make um, the bots. But I think you need the blue. No... Not only to make the bots, to also make the logistics setup. I mean, once you get the bot, once you get the bots, the game becomes really, really amazing. But definitely go into orbit and definitely do do what the mod pack tells you. Go explore space because there's a whole bunch of fun stuff to find out there. Did it do Crynet first? Wait, what? I did. <laughs> Shit, I did. <laughs> did it do Crynet first, and not Vulcanite? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf, you probably have I've watched it recently, so you probably know better than myself. <laughs> I guess I did then do Crynite first. <laughs> I did? Yes, I did, because I had that scrummy little Crynite landing pad in the old base. Which I think is still sitting there. <laughs> You know what's missing over here? All these. There we go. Good, 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 good. Sakura's time. Did we get an achievement for that? Come on, tell me we get an achievement for that. And 35, no, 153, sorry, other way around, 153 hours to get to Sarkors. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we got him. Uh, we might need to add a machine or two. We most likely need to add a machine or two. Do I still have some power poles? Yes, we do. There we go. Put it in there, please. And are you already backed up on Moss? <laughs> but you're not backed up on uh, this stuff. What's going on over here? Oh, because we're out of saline water. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Uh, and the saline water production used to come from over here. Ah, we kind of stopped that, didn't we? Now that is tar into. Uh, we're probably... No, we're not. We might be backed up on tailings. Fluid ingredient shortage. That is tar. No, this one is still working. It's just... Ah, uh, yeah, this one's running out. Well, we'll figure it out last time. Is it harder since you played Pi last time? Well, they did change up quite a couple of things. I mean, if it would be the identical way to make things, then it would have been easier. But they definitely did do some really, really nice changes to this. I mean, last time we played Pi, we didn't make the rats until, like, almost at the end. Like, the rats over here, we never really touched them. We never really did them. And we now had to do them early because they are actually a hard requirement to make the Sarkoros. And that's the thing I do like. Same for, like, the rocks. We made some of them at the beginning, 
then we ignored them for most of the game. And then at some point in time, we needed more eggs. And then we just make a, made a big egg farm. But I do kind of like that we now need these earlier and more often. Uh, same for the Ox. Same for probably everything in the mod pack. They did take the time and think about how to set up things a bit better. Uh, and I do enjoy that quite a bit. There we go. You still alive? Uh, you still live? And she's not making me say that? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Good, 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 good. And will you continue the SE run? Yes, uh, Sintert. Um, you probably didn't get the announcement. I took a week off last week. Last week, I just took a week off from everything, so I didn't even record anything. I just, like, <laughs> had a good full week of vacation. Like, my last week of vacation was, like, a full week of vacation of everything. And that was a very good week. I really enjoyed that week. <laughs> I felt really relaxed at the end. Uh, I recorded like four new episodes um, um, yesterday, and they'll be coming out soon. They'll be coming out soon. There we go. There we go. Actually, today should have come out a new uh, K2SE episode if you have not seen it yet. There we go. There we go. And how did you get to find science without the rats in the previous playthrough? Um, like I said, we did it fairly late. Pi science. How did we get to them? I think we could skip them. I think there was a pie science recipe that didn't require the rats. I think, but... Uh, I'm not quite sure, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I would have to check up on it again. Uh, but then again, I would probably don't do that. Good, good, good. But we got the Sakura. So next time around, we're going to have to make um, the... Where is it? The animal samples. This is pretty straightforward. We can... Maybe even think about exporting the plasmids from over here. I mean, this thing kind of seems stuck. Though, maybe we just need to fix this up a bit. Maybe we can make the plasmids near here. Because we already have pretty much everything we need to make the plasmids. Um, yeah, we're probably going to make it right next to this. Just like round the belts up and make more plasmids. That'll be fine. Um, good, good, good. And then we can make the animal samples. The animal samples is basically just get all the animal parts together. And, well turn it into a sample and then the other thing we need to make is the poor alien samples the most important part over there is the biological sample and for that we need some more bones because the bones we need to cook up the bone meal and then yet again it's just like push things together until they match and then we can make everything we need to make ourselves some logistic science yes good and once we got logistic science going then well we get to the next tier of the game there we go there we go Egan Right at the end. Hello there, Egan. One year of Viking madness. Yes. One year. And you're going to be in there for another year of madness. Actually, speaking of madness, there will be a lot of madness tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're going to be playing some Darkest Dungeon. Because we never won a Darkest Dungeon the playthrough we did. Well, we kind of lost because I was being greedy and stupid at the same time. Which is the perfect combination. So I'm pretty much looking forward to play some more Darkest Dungeon. We also do need to put some more compost plants over here. Because, well... The backlog over here is not being eaten fast enough. So we do need to improve that over there. But that's the thing we're going to do next time around. Next time around will be for Pyanodons next Monday. Uh, next Monday, Tuesday and Thursday probably. Um, unless the Tuesday slot gets occupied. But I don't think it will. Because I kind of enjoy just getting through Pi a little bit faster. Good, 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 good. And Egan, thank you so much for 12 months yet again. Perfect. That will be it for today. Back tomorrow. And let's press the button. Where's yeah, the button? The button is over there. And it's actually also just midnight over here. Perfect time. Perfect time. And is that a die? A, a, wait. A tie died belt? Yeah, the belts are, are died. The belts are not, are not... Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm starting to ramble on over here. Good. Speaking of rambling on, we need to raid somebody. Who are we going to raid? Hmm. 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 whole bunch of people over here. Also, I do know that most of these people will also be stopping soon, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> I need some new raiding targets. I'm kind of running out. Let's see. Yeah. We've got Cyclomactic over there. We know him. We know him. Hmm. Hmm. 
We just go for we we just go for the people we know. <laughs> We're going over the flanker. What's going on with Aussie Nuts? Will stopping soon? Yeah, most of those people are stopping soon. Aussie Nuts is streaming on YouTube in like uh, like during the week, and he's streaming on Twitch on the weekends. Um, usually, one of my favorite targets is also Clown Town, but I don't see him live, so he's probably also doing something stupid. Nah, we're just going over to. Where is he? I'm a flanker. There we go. We only went there last Tuesday, but I'm a flanker. It's a bloody amazing lad. Is that the correct? I'm a flanker. Wait, cancel that. No, that's not the correct. I'm a flanker. That's the correct. I'm a flanker. <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you so much for that. Egon, thank you so much for your resubscription. Scale the Summit, thank you so much for the lovely follow. Sinter, thank you so much for your resubscription. Uh, Sparkle and Pop, thank you so much for the lovely rate. Jake the Snake, thank you so much for the lovely, lovely follow. Uh, we had a hype train basically conducted by Smeagol and Fallen Angel. Um, Smeagol with 10 gifted subs, Fallen Angel with 20, and then Basinjo just threw in like 100 bits, and then things happened. <laughs> Kick Nick, thank you for the follow. Zorm, thank you for the follow. Mr. Washington, Toad subscribed. Thank you so much for that, mate. Um, Ekim the Brave, thank you for the follow. Middle Law, thank you so much for the raid. Evander and Man Hexter, thank you so much for your Prime subs. Actually, Evander had actual sub, never mind about that. Extra Raven, thank you for the follow. Adam the Red, thank you, Durant, thank you for the follow as well. More for his resubscribe, thank you so much for that. As well as Cylindral. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then Dr. Doof gave me a shout out because he was lurking in his channel today. Good. Clown is just starting. Well, I just set up the raid. The Better luck next time. <laughs> he has to start earlier. Nevertheless, thanks so much for today. Have a good one. Until next time, I'll be back tomorrow, Darkest Dungeon, and on Saturday, Valheim. Then we're going to be finishing that up as well. Good night!